All right. Hello. Welcome. I know I said no stream today, but well, here we are. Maybe no stream tomorrow. How about that? I just want to get into it, chat. Let's go for it. We're at the summit and we are about to head into Ash Canyon. That's the plan. Man, this pack is getting kind of heavy. Ooh. Oh, it's a morning aurora. I gotta say, this summit was disappointing. We got like two boxes of crackers. Two chips. Soda. Yeah, it was like, food wasn't great. The clothing was pretty weak too. Like, well, there's boots, there's good boots. Like we have deer boots, so obviously we don't need this stuff, but. And then it was like, uh, you know, the two could be nice, but we already have one. We have two. There, slight upgrade. So yeah, a little disappointing. Oh well. All right, let's um, let's just get ready to go down the mountain. Where do we want to go? Deer clearing or? Echo, probably Echo. Echo's easy. We still don't have a pot. We left our pot at the forge chat. How embarrassing. How embarrassing. Hey, Maple, good to see you. Welcome in. We'll just get through the morning here. How's our inventory? A little encumbered. Yeah, that's why we want the tech backpack. We don't need it. We're never gonna wear it, especially if we're getting satchel or something eventually. Actually, we need a new bow. We have the maple and two saplings. So we'll take that into Ash Canyon and maybe just go ahead and craft a bow in Ash. Miner's Valley or something. Or Angler's even. Angler's a nice spot. Alright, let's get a good sip. Hey Rook, good to see you. Welcome in. Good morning. Alright. Early morning. Do we hang out here? We have three hours to kill. Like, what do we do? Maybe some repairs? Sure. Why not? The pants could use some love. Uh, we might get another pair of combat pants in... Ash Canyon? There's usually, like, a pair there somewhere. Now maybe we tear up clothing for cloth because we're out. <laughs> this is always what we do. The easy stuff, why not? The ear wrap. Ah, uh, you know what? It's kind of nice to have the bonus ear wrap just in case. We'll, we'll save it. We'll save it. But cheers, everyone. Good to see you. Appreciate you all being here. Yeah, I don't know. They nerfed the summit. So we got crampons. Apparently there's a... We didn't get a flare gun, but there's a chance at a flare gun here. That shows up with... I don't know. Does it have shells or not? Where are all the shells at, chat? Where are you finding flare shells, if any? That's what I'm curious about. Where are all the flare shells at? One repair on this jacket, and then I'm, then I'm happy. If we get the repair, that is. Oh, you know what? We got to go now. What am I doing? Putting <clears throat> fur in the fire. There was some in that lockbox in Mystery Lake, but as you saw, it was empty. Yeah, I was, I was telling Chat that I saw you open it, and I was wondering if it was like 
I'm sure you've noticed, PT, but sometimes when you go to open a container and say it's unsearched, you can still move the cursor and you get the item instantly. I saw that happen when you opened that container and I was like, oh no. I don't think that's a glitch that causes no items to spawn though. I feel like they just legit took the, the stuff out of there. So also, oh, the Desolation Point cache doesn't have flare shells. It just had marine flares, that's it. So maybe that's what Angelan did, is uh, just took out all of that, all that stuff from the caches. Hey, Kunal, welcome in. I'm doing good. Yeah, we're at the summit. We're just about to leave. Not really anything else here for us. It was kind of disappointing. There wasn't really a whole lot. We had crampons already, so now we have nice crampons, but we had crampons before. So it is what it is. <laughs> Let's grab some torches and get out of here. We'll go to um, Bitter Marsh first, I believe. I would check real quick. We'll get back to you. No worries. Um, yeah, we got the uh, Desolation Point no flare shell cache. There's just marine flares. But yeah, it's one of those... One of those things. We got, we got lucky for like, what, three or four weeks with all that nice loot? <laughs> and now it's gone. Probably shouldn't drink these, but they're so heavy. Here, let's eat the maple syrup. We'll get these later. Alright, onwards and upwards. Or downwards, I guess. We're going down, chat. Yeah, there's a backpack here, but it was empty, I think. I don't remember. I think there's maple syrup, maybe. Get out of here. Wait, where did we say we we're going? <clears throat> Echo, oop, there was that wrist. Echo Ravine. So Echo to Bitter. I guess we should just take the cave system, why not? Ow, jeez. Everything's getting wrecked here. Take the cave system. There's a crate down there, but I think we'll leave it. Our hacksaw's kind of wrecked right now. Our hacksaw is at like 38%, so we need to find a toolkit and repair it. I do like the sound of the crampons, they're fun. Uh, and yeah, Blades was talking about crampons yesterday, about how strong they are, and I agree, they're actually really good for early game when you don't even have anything to put in those slots, you can make a pair of crampons, four hours, four scrap, two leather, and great for goading, for sprain risk situations. You know, we just got a bunch of sprains so that were encumbered, if you actually play properly and <laughs> don't get yourself encumbered. Makes a big difference. Alright, let's just go through the cave system. Why not? This is a... Uh, oh, or do we go to Black Rock? We're right here. That's the thing. Tech backpack. <clears throat> we don't have the satchel, so I'd like to hunt a moose. But then it's like, if we kill the moose in Ash Canyon, we have to take the satchel with us and put it somewhere useful. Like, I don't, I don't know. Coastal Highway to Cure or Pleasant Valley or, you know, I don't want to, I don't want to shoot a moose in the middle of nowhere and have to come back with the carcass later on, or the hide later on. Something to think about. We have so many bandages, let's just make sure we fix. I actually don't even remember, can you shoot the bow with a one sprained wrist? You can use the flare gun, but maybe you can't use the bow with a sprained wrist. Yeah, I don't know. I don't remember. <laughs> it's been a while, chat. We have the Polaroid for uh, up there, but it's such a weak Polaroid. Compared to, say, Coastal Highway, where we could see, like, everything on the map after the Polaroid, this one here gives you so little. What a waste. But yeah, the plan for the day is Ash Canyon, then back to Coastal. We'll maybe craft the bear coat. Uh, shoot the moose if it's there. And I want to do more beachcombing. I want to just beachcomb until we get like some really neat stuff and get an idea of how powerful beachcombing is and how viable, you know, the beachcomb only challenge will be. Because that's just it. If there's no, <clears throat> if there's no, um, 
matches or flares like pretty easily, then you know any challenge without a, a light source becomes a real pain in the butt. Not impossible. It's just. Meh, yeah, maybe we read that, but I probably won't. Let's be honest. We're so encumbered. Like we just have so much junk all the time. What are we doing with 1500 torches, you know? It doesn't make any sense, Astrid. Uh-oh. Now we've done it. <laughs> Here we go, we're good, we're good, we're good. I'll take the book. We'll- wait, did we take the book? I can't even remember now. Yeah, we'll read it at some point. Our fire starting is still level 2, so it's worth it. Get that fire start 3 happening, and then we're just not worrying about Tinder ever again. That reminds me. Yeah, we were, we were close to out of Tinder. And then we uh, made a bunch, and then we failed a fire like 8 times, so we're almost out again. Uh, Ash Cannon has plenty of uh, cattails we'll grab. Hey, Jay, welcome in. Good to see you. We're just in Timberwolf. We got off the summit, and now we're heading to Ash Canyon. Get the tech backpack. There's a bunker in Ash Canyon, <clears throat> and it's in a spot that's, like, I don't know very well. So I'm kind of keen to try to find the bunker in Ash. All I know is it's, like, in the hills, kind of near uh, one of the exits, but... We'll go, we'll go look around. After we have the tech backpack, you know, priorities chat. Tech backpack first, and then we can play the game. <laughs> That's right, we're doing vanilla interloper here, for those who are just tuning in. Uh, we were playing around with beachcombing yesterday, we got some cool stuff. Um, Red toolkit, quality tools, we got maples and birch galore. We had uh, nice clothing, jackets, wool toques, you know, shoes. There was meds, we got painkillers, no antibiotics, but we did get painkillers. What else? Um, carcasses, rabbit, deer, wolf. But I. Uh, we saw a rabbit wash up on shore, which is crazy. Human corpses too. Uh, fuel pallets, lockers, chests, suitcases. There's so much weird stuff. <clears throat> well, it's exciting, but it's just like, it's everything, you know, almost everything. Uh, Bashrobe in chat yesterday said they found a container that spawned matches. Someone found a flare. So the beachcombing is really interesting, a really neat overhaul. So I want to play around more with that, but we're going to get the tech backpack first, make our life a bit easier. What's this? More stuff in this cave? Look at this. They've, uh, they've changed it a little. This never used to be here. Chasm cave. Interesting. Not that torch. That's the, that's the nice torch. All right. Excuse me. Erp. I might go to Keeper's Pass for the flare gun. But then we don't have any flare shells, so like, what the heck do you do? Uh, who's been finding flare shells on Interloper? And if so, where are they? I'm curious. I don't think they're in the memento caches anymore. Um, like, on an on a Interloper run, we found quite a few flares, flare shells pre-update. But then I think they were supposed to be, like, stalker loot. They were mixed in. <laughs> You know, uh, do you have to start a new server name to use as Chandler? My running game has new acorns. No, you can, Jay, as long as, like, <clears throat> you've paid for the DLC. Um, so, you know, even if you're on, like, day 400, you can walk your way to the new territory and activate the mission Sigma Void by collecting the transmitter. So I don't want to spoil it for you, but basically, um, you know, the transmitter will be there for you when you're ready for it. And you don't have to like do anything other than pick it up and it activates you know if we go into the journal i don't have uh anything here 
you know, when you activate it, there's like another tab up top just for the signal void mission. So, you know, maybe at the end of this run, when we're kind of satisfied with things, we'll go pick up the transmitter and just play around with that. Because like, wait, no, it's not on here, but on, on Stalker and below, you can do that. But maybe Interloper down the road, they'll add it. Uh, Hinterland did say that they've heard the community is interested in, you know, getting Interloper cash action. So maybe they'll put it in eventually. Right now it is only, sorry, it is only custom Interloper. You can change the BRA, the the like um, borderline, <laughs> what is it? BRA, what's BRA even stand for? Baseline resource allocation to medium and that equals stalker loot. And so if you have it on stalker loot, you can then play a custom loper with stalker loot and get the transponder. Sorry, Jay, I'm, I'm so, I'm all over the place. I'm, I'm making no sense. I'm sure you're even more confused than when you showed up here. Basically, if you're on stalker and below, go pick up the transponder, easy money, have fun. If you're on interloper, then you're gonna have to wait until they uh, allow us to play with the transponder on Interloper. As of right now, that's not the case. Mr. Lake Lockbox is empty, only flare shot. No, it was in the... Yeah, the luggage terminal in Forsaken Airfield. That's crazy. So, the transfer... Not transfer pass. The um, Keeper's Pass flare gun is in a case, but it's empty as well, right? Gee whiz. Maybe we can beachcomb flare shells now. Like, what's the deal, chat? Who's, who's finding Interloper flare shells? Where are they at? I need to know. Science. You know, it's just interesting because back in the day, you know, there was the strat where you just show up at the ravine, grab the flare gun, boom, boom, bears down, and then you go play your run. And then in 10 days, you get, you know, after your forage, you can just start crafting. Now it's going to be a little different. No flare gun. You got to just get the bow before you're getting things happening. You went down the rope on an Oprah the other day, check it out, it's just a gun still? Yeah, see that's what I've heard, I haven't seen personally, but I just, I asked chat and they tell me what's going on. So, gun is guaranteed a keeper's pass it seems, everyone's, everyone says it's still there all the time, but no shells. Xana, good to see you, Valley V, good to see you. The parts have spawned in Murphy on your long run? Yeah, but Jay, because you're on interloper, the transponder won't be there. Unfortunately, it's not active on Interloper, so sorry if I, I got you excited. Yeah, you'll have to go and play a Stalker file or a custom Interloper file. So yeah, for folks on Interloper, no tr no Transponder. Not yet. But Jay, I had a... there's a code here in chat. I'll show you. If you want to try it, this is what I did. It's actually kind of tough. It's a uh, no one gets out alive custom code that Perfect Trip came up with, except Stalker loot. So your world is pretty aggressive, especially at the beginning, but by late game I had, you know, 35 plus warmth and I was fine. We weren't, we were able to sleep on the ground. Like we just put our bedroll on the ground and sleep. It was ridiculous. <clears throat> but the start was tough. You know, the start was actually quite, quite, quite challenging. I did die once too, so. If you want to try that out as a custom run, go for it. Or just make whatever custom you want and have fun with it. Thanks for the code, no worries. Next level? Yeah, like I said, it's kind of fun. If you're used to Loper, the loot is insane, but you don't feel guilty using it because the world is pretty aggressive. So that or you can like limit yourself to what you pick up. If you don't want stalker loot, just don't grab it. We got a lot of cattails now. Tinder Tinder problems are solved. Okay, let's go see if there's a moose, and then we'll um, really go up to the the spot. You know the um, what's it called? Homesteaders respite. Actually, I can't remember. It's been so long. I think it's Homesteader's Respite, sounds familiar, but basically there's a cabin right up here on this ledge and you can walk up, hello, you can walk up uh, the snowbank and then get there via Billy Goat and it bypasses a lot of the map. It doesn't really matter honestly, like we could just walk to, we could just walk to uh, Angler's Den, sleep at Angler's, you know, not a big deal. I think what we'll do though is go up this way, 
Then we'll go... I do want to get to Anglers, because there's arrowheads there. Why wouldn't we? Shoot, maybe we should just walk to Anglers. Like, what's the problem? What's the problem? Yeah, we just go to Anglers, and then we go up through the cave to Myra's Folly. You get a boat? We got, like, a like a skiff. You know, like the small ones that are turned over? We got one of those, but not like a boat that we saw in the trailer where you can like walk into it. So that's why I still want to go beachcombing. We, we did get some cool stuff, but I want to see like structure, like a big boat that we can walk on. Yeah, it, it was it, yeah, kind of like a canoe, but you know, like those like those ones that are turned over near Desolation Point or Fishing Camp, just a small little rowboats. You wouldn't even put a motor on it. Yeah. Wait, how many tinder do we have? 16, that's plenty. Might as well grab a bunch of cattails, it's nice and warm today. We'll walk our way to anglers, loot anglers out, maybe craft the bow. Or craft the bow to 99% and then just have it on us, ready to finish. That's another strat, so in case you don't want to accidentally equip the bow, the better bow, you just leave it almost crafted. The only issue with that is you have to access a workbench to finish it. I feel like we would have heard the moose by now if there was one. Usually you can kind of hear them clomping around or mooing. Hey Tess, good to see you. Ham, welcome in. Good to see you. Dallin, good to see you. Everyone, thanks for joining. Yeah, but I want to go and see a boat like the one on the trailer that you can walk into. <laughs> but either way, the beachcombing is really interesting. And I'm curious how, uh, how it's going to play into the future runs. And then two, fishing is getting an update. So if they change fishing, anything like they change beachcombing, it could be really interesting. see a moose. He's usually like right there. New beachcombing was a refreshing change. Yeah, it's really neat. They've uh, made it quite complex and it does respawn very quickly. So it's like you kind of want to get you kind of want to get over there and check on it. Make sure you're not missing out on anything after a storm. Hey, Trizzy, to see you. Aurora Moose, give more content. Some people have reported now that the uh, rabbits aren't despawning during Auroras. I don't know about a moose, though. Has anyone seen an Aurora Moose? That or they're just trolling. But apparently the animals aren't despawning in Auroras like they used to. You never know. But Trizzy, good to see you. I hope your week's going well, my friend. Hope all's good. We're just here cruising on Loper, having some fun. We'll leave here with our 70 cattails in our pocket again and wonder why we're so encumbered, even with the tech backpack. That's the way we do it, though. Minus 11 wind chill. I feel like we're safe with the torch for now. I've gone, I haven't gone this way in a while. I'm usually either goading or going like a, uh, through the uh, pillar foot rest route. But I remember when Ash Cannon first came out and I like didn't know about the other routes and it was so scary walking through here all the time with the wolves. You know, because when we, when this map first came out, we did it without 
you know, without leaving. We sort of just spawned in here and tried to survive. And that was interesting. Yeah, let's just shoot these wolves, or one of them at least. Hey, you may sir. Cheers. Welcome in. Do we shoot a deer too? I think there's usually a yeah, there's a deer over here. We could we could shoot shoot a deer, hang out, build a bow. You know, we're not in any rush. We have nothing to do other than beachcomb and like have fun. I do want to explore uh, the map and find the bunker before we leave. That's the other goal is bunkers. Bunkers, beachcombing, black acorn coffee. I want to see how many uh, acorn trees are in each map. Basically, it's kind of the rough idea. We we ended up eating all our acorns that we prepped. Uh, I had like four large portions. I ate them all. Where are you going, buddy? Whoa, 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 whoa! What the what? Oh, that was close, I feel. Okay, he's going to like the fool's corner. No, what's it called? Not fool's corner. The, um, Narrow Falls Cave? Either way, this is a dead end, so this is perfect. We have not been lucky getting crits on deer, and I think I need to take that into my nope and uh, remember it. Because if we start shooting deer on nope mode and start losing arrows and stuff all the time, it's just not going to work for us, chat. Yeah, go that way. Good call. Good call. Down to the dead end. Mace, good to see you. Huh? Oh no. Oh, he's going off road. Chad, I can't compete with this. Oh, don't go up there, man. <laughs> That's out of bounds. I'll take it. Yeah, we can we can make this work. Ooh. Okay, we did it finally. That's the third deer that we've shot. The first one we've killed. <laughs> Okay, the hacksaw's wrecked, so yeah, again, we need to go find a toolkit to repair that, hopefully. And while we're at it, let's find some pot, too. We haven't found a pot in a while. Okay, we're getting some cattails back. I like it. For a second, I deer thought it was a deer, and then I realized it was a goat. Yeah, it was like, I thought it was running at me, and then it was above me all of a sudden, <laughs> up on the mountain. The devil's lettuce, you know it. We need a, uh, we forgot our pot at the, the forge. It was kind of embarrassing, because we forgot our pot. And then I was, um, <laughs> like, hey, let's make some water, and it just didn't happen. There is a cave down here that's got, like, um, coal in it and stuff, so we might as well just run down and check real quick. Loot and scoot, grab some, uh, things. And that's another thing, we haven't been ash cannon in, in a long time, we don't go here on nope usually. So, like, what's around? Is the stim still here? Or did they remove the stim entirely from, from ash canyon? Because it used to spawn in the med kit, but it was, like, an invisible stim previously on... Loper, maybe? I don't know. I'm wondering. They removed it from that snow ledge for some reason. 
some highs, nice work. All two of you made it well. You know what, quality over quantity, right? Becky died. I actually know that meme. <laughs> and that is that is ancient. Oh wow, we got oh I thought that was something, but it's nothing. We got a lot of coal in here. Three and then the fur is nice. That would be worth coming to on a nope run, but would it though? Just getting here. And not being able to get the tech backpack and not having an outdoor stim, like what's the what's the draw of this map? What, what would be here that we would want? Maybe a fire striker if you if you spawn in, but I don't even know where the fire strikers are anymore. They're like uh, in spots I never go. <laughs> okay, let's go and uh, finish cooking some of this deer, and then we'll just drag the rest of it to the den. The den, I like that. Astrid's den, and then we'll just um, set that up as our base, base of operations. We can always make the bow like we talked about, or 99 the bow, and then uh, do our adventure up the mountain. All right, let's hang tight. Relax here by the fire. Beautiful day. Guess we could read, but then our food would burn. Holy teas. We have 5, 10, 15, 19, 20. 21 herbal teas. I don't think we need all these teas on us, do we? Torches, come on, give me something better than that. There we go. Yeah, we're on vanilla low perchure. We're doing um we're doing our thing. Trying to figure out the new content, the new beachcombing, the anchorns, seeing how uh how it all plays in. It's been interesting so far. I'm really, really keen on this beachcombing. We got so much stuff that it it just seems like kinda crazy. Kinda OP, folks. Did I see 26 teas? Or did I blink at a bad moment? We actually have been dropping teas off. We have 8, 8, 11, 9. And then we have all of these teas. 5, 10, 15, 19. And then we have 9 coffees as well, plus the ones we've made. Uh, we just have too much stuff, basically. Moral of the story is we need to drop things. And this is, uh, too, we stop looting. Like, we stop picking up teas that we find. We just got, uh, we got to the point where we had enough and we weren't drinking any because we're pretty warm. We've got a really good clothing set up. We're sitting at uh, 19 plus 7 temp right now and we don't even have our bear coat built yet. So yeah, we're, we're laughing. We're doing really good. We will be crafting a bear coat or, or light jacket. How strong is the flight jacket? I think it's two plus five. Can anyone confirm, or is it, or is it three plus five? Because the bear coat's six and five. So like, uh, if the flight jacket has the same outer layer wind protection, it would make sense to have it as an outer layer, so we look cool. <laughs> so bear coat flight jacket is the ultimate combo. And that is my thesis. I I wish to prove. Is that the right word? My hypothesis. Either way, I think I think the flight jacket on Loper is going to be really nuts if we can find it. I want to go uh, look around, do, do an attempt. Maybe the airfield has it, or maybe it's elsewhere in the map. I feel like we found the aviator hat in Milton, so maybe the other stuff can exist elsewhere too. 
Someone said they beachcombed a hockey jersey. So there's that, <laughs> which is pretty cool. Pretty neat. I hope we get an Aurora tonight so we can craft that bow. That or I'll just, you know, light some torches and do it. It's another option. If you have a bunch of sticks and torches, light a match, craft for 40 minutes at a time, stop crafting, relight the torch, and you can literally just craft through the night on torch fire, you know, as long as you cancel out after like whatever half an hour or however long your torch is. And for those who don't know, the torch, you can tell there's 26%, that's 26 in-game minutes. So say if I was going to walk up to like uh, a towel and it's like 15 minutes to harvest, I can check my percent of the torch and see that I have 20% torch. Then I know I'll have enough time to harvest the cloth, drop the torch and light a new one. Same thing with the crafting session. You can look at the torch percentage and know how many in-game minutes that torch will last. The long walk back to the cabin. Never pumped about running double bear coats. Yeah, double bear coats is like too much spin reduction. Honestly, the the flight jacket though being five wind chill is crazy. That is nuts. So I'm pretty curious to see if we can find it, how it feels on the late game build. Because you know, leather now isn't really going to be a problem if we can beachcomb shoes and stuff all the time, right? We were beachcombing leather as well. Leather, shoes, all sorts of stuff. I found a hockey jersey on day one, a new new loafer. Yeah, it's like a great early sweater because it's got the wind chill, but then once you put it on under a jacket, the wind chill doesn't have any impact, so it's kind of like meh. Okay, where the heck is this cabin? Did we bypass it already? Did we overshoot? Oh, it's way up ahead, okay. We're just slow. Slow as molasses here. I do like Ash Canyon. People were asking yesterday what my favorite map is, and it's hard to pick one, but like definitely I like Ash Canyon. Ash Canyon, Bleak Inlet, Black Rock, Hush River. They're all a lot of fun. Well designed too. I feel like the early maps, Hinterland was just kind of like figuring things out, and then they hit their stride after after Pleasant Valley. Pleasant Valley is a great map, I hate it, but it's really well designed. And then like after Pleasant, you know, Hush River came around, and I think from Hush River onwards they they had great vision. And like themes too, you know, Bleak Inlet, the theme of the the cannery, the mill, the, the crafting there, that's really cool. And then that sort of carried on through. Maps now have themes, which I like a lot. Wasn't PvE the second map they added after Mr. Lake? Uh, I don't know, actually. But I, I was thinking more about the changes they made after uh, Episode 3, when they kind of added and, and reworked, added a few structures, added the plane crash. That's when uh, I felt like Pleasant Valley is like, all right, this is a challenging map, but there's like a lot of stuff in it that makes it worth. You hate PvE, but I would enjoy the game so much without it. Yeah, as a map that you have to go through to get to, you know, some key regions, it's a great it's a great hub map, but it does kick your butt if you're not ready for it. Verticality in those maps? Yeah, exactly. That That's a new thing that Hinterland's doing a lot of, is like tiers of maps. The Kush River has, you know, three different levels almost. Uh, Ash Canyon has three distinct levels. Uh, Black Rock as well has levels where, you know, if you go low down onto the river versus like up high into the mine area, I think they've done great. We don't have the key yet. Darn. Alright, let's go in here. Let's craft a bit, maybe. Hopefully get a pot. I want a pot so bad. Then we can get some water boiling. Dang it. How many boxes of matches do we get here? Two boxes. As an interloper, like, early game spawn area, getting two boxes of matches like that is pretty cool. Ooh, the toolkit. Nice. Now we can repair chat. For much longer. Well, can we? Do we have anything to tear up into scrap metal? Oh, the pot's here! Nice! Okay, let's go ahead and craft some water. Just because. 
then we can craft. Hey, you got me. Good to see you. Yeah, I had my week off work this week, so I've been streaming every day. Dash, welcome in. Good to see you. Yeah, I decided to stream. I said yesterday I was going to take today off, but I lied. I lied. I, I did a fib to you, chat. I'm sorry. I'll take tomorrow off, okay? How about that? I promise. Okay, let's go ahead and craft the bow for two hours. And then, like I said, we'll just leave it 99% complete. So we can just finish it easily. Canada, yeah, it's uh, it got cold last weekend. Like, I'm trying to grow s vegetables, right? And I got my starts on the patio, trying to get them hardened off, and I had to bring them all in because it was getting, it was getting like uh, close to freezing. But now it's it's like full on spring. There's like flowers and stuff coming out. But some parts of Canada are still in a frozen hellscape for sure, as is tradition. Okay, let's do uh, some of this meat now. Why not? with this much gear. Astrid, we're fine. We just have water. Yeah, like I said, where I live, there's pretty mild weather year-round, and then some parts of Canada are, like, extreme heat in summer and then extreme cold in winter, so it's a bit of a variety. Okay, 40 minutes. Let's go ahead and just carry this on. Nine minutes, forty minutes. Leave one raw piece. Ooh, heart rate, nice one. I was hoping uh, we'd, we'd see that redeem use. Nice work. Okay, let's put this over here. Got some cooked meat right by the door. Lovely. All right, heart rate monitor. Hopefully the battery's still charged. It's been a minute. Snow on the ground in Minnesota? Yeah. Like, Saskatchewan has tons of snow. Exactly. Like, Saskatchewan's one of those provinces where they get a tough winter, and then the summers are really hot as well. All right. Should be uh, connected here. How's the heart rate? <sighs> always high. Always high, chat. Okay, so one, six, seven hours. Let's just cancel out right at the end. Oh, we need the light. Well, we're at 50 minutes. Like, that's not bad. That's almost a 99 bow. <laughs> Hot belly stove. Okay, let's eat this, go to sleep, and then tomorrow morning we can get the heck out of here. This pack is getting too heavy to carry. Inventory management tomorrow, I promise. Workbench, empty trunk, bed. Nice. You get Pleasant Valley Winter, yeah. Any outdoor adventures? Ooh, I'd like to, but uh, I don't have anything planned, honestly. I might try to get a couple of lighter hikes in in the summer. But mostly, I'm just doing like day day hikes, half day hikes, that kind of thing. Hey, Summer, good to see you. Well, no need to apologize. I actually, I actually told chat that I wouldn't be here today, right? I said I was gonna take the day off, so I lied. <laughs> <laughs> but good to see you somewhere. As always, it's a pleasure to have you. We just, uh, I've been crafting a little bit here. Let's go ahead and get this closer. We'll get it to like 10 minutes left. Yeah, let's see. So now, next time we want, it's a seven minute bow. And let's confirm the bow is actually normally half a kilo. And this one weighs nothing. So, that's a thing. Okay, now what we need to do is get a scrap metal, and I'm going to go ahead and harvest this. It sucks, but we have we have a knife, we have a hatchet, we can use those. Or we can get clever, drop the knife and hatchet, and with our cooking three, you know, we can go ahead and 
just smash the can without loss. Easy. We might as well make some arrows. We got plenty. That trick with the bow is awesome. Yeah, Jay, apparently it works with other things too now. Anything you're crafting. Let's go ahead and make like three arrows. We don't need to be here all year. And then we'll uh, head up, head up the hill at nightfall. All right, and can we drop some equipment here? Let's leave some coal. Tools. Are we going to come back is the question, though. Probably not. We're going to go up a rope, so I need to be... Oh, wow, we need to shed a lot of weight, chat. Can't, can't afford to drop anything. What, what would I drop? There's nothing. There's nothing. We need it all. This is like what I struggle with the most in this game. It's like, I, there's so much I have that I don't need. But it's hard to justify it. You know, like, the hooks weigh nothing. Why would I put them away? The teas. We can drop some teas here. But then it's like, maybe we should bring them for the Glimmer Fog, right? Okay, we'll drop five Ts. There we go. Aggressive inventory management. One of these days, chat. One of these days, we'll know what we're doing. Okay, let's go to main. Search by weight. The cattails are an issue. Mac and I could use some love, but we're kind of in a rush to get going. <sighs> All right, let's let's stop the cattails then. Now we're getting closer. The pry bar, we probably don't need that, but kilo of flares, but... <laughs> I'm sorry, chat. Okay, it's close enough. We're close enough, okay? I'm happy. If we need to, we'll stim up the rope or something. Or climb up and down it twice. Like, that's an option, too. <laughs> Who cares? We'll just drop things at the bottom of the rope. We're not playing note mode. I gotta get that in my thick skull. Get it through your thick skull once. I think we went the wrong way. Alright, so this is a neat little shortcut. If you don't want to take the tree, three ropes up, you can go towards this waterfall and behind it. You know, anytime you see one of these trees arched like that or bent over and pointing, pay attention to it because it's likely telling you that's the direction you want to travel. It's like a it's like a, a hint of location terrain that's promising. So see over there, there's another like bent over tree pointing that way. And that's actually a path to, you know, the exit of the map, basically. So stuff like that is important. If you're lost, lost in a new map, you don't know. That's always very helpful. I know we just dropped a bunch of cattails, but we need them. There's plenty more too, but I think we don't need to get greedy. We only need so many. Especially now that we got the bow, you know, we just shoot, shoot something and eat it, like that deer. Nice little treat. Tomato soup always? Yeah, they didn't take our soup chat. Mm -hmm. Mm 
And two, this um, bypasses the ropes, which is huge. So it's like a one small rope climb in a cave. You have to go through waterfall, uh, but it's really, really good. There is a there is a dangerous spot though, so you gotta be careful. There's some wolves, chat. There's some wolves here. We dropped our hammer at Quonset, so we don't have the hammer, but we can still prep acorns if we find them. And I do want to try to find some on this map, maybe on the walk from the bottom of the mine out. I think that's what we'll do too. I, I did want to get to, what's that map called? Um, Homestead's Respite, but we'll just end up probably skipping it. If we find combat paths at Myers Folly, for sure we'll skip it. Well, I hope everyone's having a lovely Thursday today. Great to see you. It's been a long time since we've been through Ash Canyon. It's a nice, nice little bit of an adventure for us. the deer. They've been kind of tough on this run. This is the only route I know to the gold mine. I'm sure there's a more efficient way, but I always end up beating myself up a cliff trying to find the different path. I'm trying to think, like, the other path would be to do that billy goat thing and then climb up that one big rope at Homesteaders Respite, but then it's a really long walk. So this, this path is, you know, my preferred route because it's pretty easy. You have to go through the waterfall and these wolves, though. So, like, obviously, if you, if you have a flare, it's better. Oh, hello. Oh, we lost the nope run, chat. Just kidding. This is not nope. Oh, our bow's in low condition. Good. Let's go ahead and just take all these wolves out if we can. The other path test would be like going from secluded shelf up the three robes, but who's going to do that? That's insane. That's like, you need to sleep or stim or drink coffee or use a lot of resources up. Goat up, rope back, back road is the way I normally go. Yeah, that's that's the route I usually go, but I just thought I want to go to Minus Folly anyways to do some crafting. Just do it. I swear there's one more wolf. Oh. I wonder what's up there. I, I heard that someone found loot up here once. Never mind. I never make the through a crime, even when you try to. Yeah, it's like you think you have enough. Maybe with crampons it won't be so bad, but normally you get the crampons here at this map, so. All right, let's see. Let's go through. All right, this is the cave system that spits you out at like a past minor folly, so it's actually really nice. We'll go, we'll shoot the bear, and then we'll have th three bear hides total. So like that's the thing is if we want 
we can make a coat or the bedroll or both, basically. Little, little trick here, chat. Oh, we definitely screwed that up by putting the torch in the water. It's fine. It's fine. We have a lamp, chat. It's fine. Okay, it's fine. You can drag the torch, but you have to place it on the ground. <laughs> Otherwise, it doesn't work. Let's see, what's one that? 1815? Yeah, we're having that as the outer layer because it's better windproof right now. Also protects the Mackinac. Defense 3, defense 1. Oh, there you go. I don't know, I just feel like we should grab this and drop it somewhere. Did you say Meglens on the left side? Oh, that's what it was. Yeah, someone said Meglens over there, but on Pilgrim, probably. The cave beyond Anglers has a rope that takes you that same back road path. Uh, so that cave has a rope that brings you up towards the area just past a uh, secluded shelf. So like, not really helpful. You're still underneath the three ropes, but you're basically out of the wolf nest. I think I think that's cave beyond. Yeah, the one that there's some wolves around there and some coal in the little little cave. Then there's a rope up. It's basically the path from Pillar's Footrest to Secluded Shelf that it spits you out at. So near to um, narrow narrow path, the narrow path, whatever it's called. I don't know actually. <laughs> if I were to look at a map, I'd be able to tell you the name of it. Hey, thank you, Sue. Thanks for the hydrate. Is coffee okay? Cheers. Don't normally go that way? Yeah, no, neither. That's the thing with all of us. We have our preferred routes that we like, that we're comfortable with, and we definitely don't deviate. Like, what's the point? Maybe if you're doing cartography, you'll go elsewhere, but otherwise, who cares? More matches. Wow. Another flare. Okay. Coffee's always okay. Cheers. Hope you're having a great uh, Thursday, Sue. We'll come on in. All right, let's go ahead and drop what? Like, just our cool, I guess? Our cool bedroll. And then maybe we'll just drop stuff up top. Not the crampons, Astrid. There we go, that should do it. Hey, Riggins, good to see you, Mateo. Welcome in. Just lost your cartographer run on day 138. No, in Pleasant Valley. Oh, I'm sorry. You know, it's. I almost want to give you the advice of get those tough maps out of the way first, but then it's even harder. But really, the early days are more forgiving, and then, like, get set up and end on the tough maps if you have to. But ideally, if you can take out, like, your hardest maps first, it will just make your life easier because you're, like, you know, early on in the run. But, you know, Pleasant Valley is always going to be a challenge. No matter what you do. Hop. Skip. Jump. Okay. And now we do it all over again, chat. And soon we'll have the tech backpack. Oh, this will be perfect. So many blue flares. Well, the, the blue flares always used to be on this map because it was a... You know the marine flares and you can you can put the marine flare on during a water waterfall and not get the, the flare lost but other than that the marine flares i think they're putting more in the game so we're not as afraid of the bull the timber wolves and black rock and bleak <laughs> i don't know honestly the the marine flares are kind of useless in my opinion unless you're dealing with timber wolves because they burn so quick but the red flares are great because at least you can have, you know, time to, to, to do something about it. Mm, okay, let's actually dump coal off here. We don't need all this.
Back back croc, croc last, yeah. <laughs> Yikes. We want to go to Miner's Folly for the night. Uh, probably... Oof, do we shoot the bear? Yeah, maybe. Oof. Then we have to hold the hide out. I don't really want the hide, honestly. It's a little far for me to take. I'd probably just, like, shoot the bear so it runs off and then... We'll still think about it later. They're preparing us for the wildlife refresh. There you go. Timberwolves everywhere. <laughs> Beautiful night for an Aurora. No Timmy's Timberwolf? Well, it'd be interesting for sure if they did that. All right, where's the bear? If he's in his cave, I hate, I hate it. He's so tough to deal with when he's in here. Yeah, he's here, chat. Is he coming or going, though? He's going. Just wait for him to walk off. <laughs> yeah, I uh, tried to shoot this bear with the flare gun inside here, and he just kept bouncing off the wall and immediately re -agering. I could barely load the gun fast enough. I don't even see him anymore. <sighs> How heavy are we? I guess we could like drink a coffee, drop some weight, just shoot him. Did anyone see him? <laughs> Oh, he's around that hump, I think. Alright, we can either mess with him or not. Ah, yeah. Let's leave him. He's well and proper out of our way now. See ya. I had it once where he's asleep in the middle of the path. He doesn't fast him. Yeah, he falls asleep over here, like, by the bridge a lot. I find, um... He's just, like, sleeping right near the... the rope bridge. It's kind of... kind of worrying. Yeah, we've all been there with the empty flare gun. Pretty sure I did that like yesterday, or no. On our um, signal void run, I did it. But we managed to be okay because the wolf wasn't actually able to attack me. Lots of reclaim just sitting around here. You can crash past them without waking them? Yes, you can, for sure. Stim? Nothing. Oh no. No. No Ash Canyon outdoor stim? No. Hinterland, why? How could you do this to us?
English Zen Memento. Ooh. Oh, let's not forget the key. Whoops. Took your chances. Nice. Way to do it. All right, we'll go uh, look around here. New can opener? I think there's usually a can opener in this house, no? Maybe not. Uh oh, I'm stuck. <laughs> oh no, jeans, not combat pants. Uh oh. That means we might have to go to, uh, uh, Homestead's Respite for our combat pants. It's not that big a deal because we are going to craft deer pants. We have everything ready for it. So like, that's definitely just something we can, we can work on if we want. But having the combat pants is just a nice little treat. Is the one stuck in the path from the mine still there? Uh, the one stuck in the wall on the path to the mine. The bear? Oh, no, it's not. The stim. Sorry, uh, the, uh, the what? <laughs> no, the stim's gone, Ham. They removed it in the last update, and then they put it in the med kit. But now that's not there anymore either. Ooh, Polaroid. Polaroid. Wait, that was right. Ash Canyon Vista? Oh, that's, um... Mm, high Meadow, not Wolfjaw. Stim, yeah, 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 no, the stim's gone. It used to be on the shelf, and now there's just no stim on the map that I know of. Unless they moved it, moved it. But yeah, there was a, there was a brief moment, a glorious moment, where Outer Loper had like 11 stims. It was crazy. We were so spoiled. And now the, uh, there's no stim in the muskeg either. They removed all stims in the muskeg for interloper players. Uh, there's still, let's see, what is there still? Broken Railroad, outside stim, ravine, outside stim, summit, outside stim. There's not as many stims, that's for sure. Uh, the Milton outdoor stim is still a thing. I think we'll sleep here tonight, why not? We'll start fresh tomorrow. This is a nice cabin. Ooh, another. Double pot chat? Nah. What do we need leather for? Nah, we don't need leather. I was talking about it, but it was only because of the flight jacket that we don't have yet. Combat pants? Beauty. Wow. All right, we do this trick. We drop, we drop, and then that way we're not using condition on our knife or hatchet. We just have to remember to pick it back up, but we can smash this can and then we don't worry about calorie loss because we already have cooking three. So there's no reason not to. We don't need cans, so. And then we'll eat some of these chips and see. we'll see what happens. Actually, we probably don't even need to, but let's do it anyways. Hey, Rocks, good morning. I know I lied yesterday. I said I wasn't streaming, but here we are. Oh, 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 don't. I hate when does that. Improvised hatchet, cloth, improvised knife. I'm pretty sure that's everything. Let's double check. Don't want to forget. But good morning, Rocks. Hope you're well. Thanks for hanging. As always, great to see you. All right, I'm going to quickly pause it here and stretch and uh, leave you folks to Astrid. Now nah, I'll put some clips on, don't worry. And then uh, we'll get back to it. We'll get that tech backpack and then we'll find the bunker, I guess, is the next mission. Or the moose. Day 24. Ooh, the title's a lie chat. Full of fibs today. All right, I'll be right back, okay? See you in like two minutes.
here we go. We're fighting Fluffy. It's now or never. It's happening. That's dim to good use. There, there, there. Let's do this. Oh no! Oh no! Oh my god, I ran out the wires! <laughs> um, climbing area? Whoa, whoa. What? The. Did you see that? There was like yellow snow for a minute. Canceled the aggro, and he'd gone off on his own adventures. But all over. Dang. Yeah, watch the language. Oh, what a good run too. Uh oh. It sounds like he's running to me. <laughs> No! No! Oh man, I'm sorry folks, I didn't realize he was so close to me. Yeah. I couldn't see him. I could hear him, but I couldn't see him. Rip. Hey, you too, good to see ya. New run, yeah. New run that's just got failed. Damn it! They're bleeding all over the place! Oh, we didn't have a bandage. GG. Yeah, no, I, I think he must have been like against the rock wall and I just couldn't see him. God. I wanna try something though. I'm gonna bleed out soon. Are you serious? Oh yeah, you're gonna run into my cave with me? Ah! Oh god. Oh no! Oh god. Oh, but not like this. <laughs> no. I know, folks. Uh, oh, not like this. I don't know, Will. What do you think? <laughs> Honestly, the worst part of a Will for me is the grunting. <sighs> He's always grunting. And then, too, when he... Poor Will. Gets no love. Let's go for another two hours and we'll get out of here. Maybe we shoot the bear. Maybe. Holy matches, Batman. Oh my goodness. Oh, we're using our knife, whatever. Should cook these for cook scale, but I'm fine with it. I just want to be underweight. We're close to. All right, sprain risk free. So now we can shoot the bear without stressing. Oh, there he is. There you be, chat. Archery?
All right. Let's get the hide, otherwise I'll feel guilty wasting this whole thing. Oh, it's cold, chat. We didn't even look. I thought I was in the wind shelter at minus one triangles. Minus one triangles. All right, let's go. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's go to the mine. What else are we going to do? Let's just drop this here. It's here. We want it. GG's. Oh, the cat's yelling at me. I should have fed him just now. He's fine. Don't believe him. He's fine. <laughs> All right. We got that bear. And uh, I know, like, obviously we should just cook the whole thing up, get the cooking skills, but I have this weird thing where I don't cook it if I'm not going to eat it. So I'm not going to eat that bear because I don't have cooking five, so I'm not going to cook the bear. And obviously that's like counterproductive to quality gameplay, but uh, I'll tell you, Chad, do as I say, not as I do. So cook the whole bear up. <laughs> we don't need any meat. We'll just go to the final destination, which is the... Uh-oh. Oh, I thought he was coming at me. We'll just go to the mine, and then from there we'll go to maybe uh, down the ropes to Anglers, and then back towards Secluded Shelf, towards uh, Climber's Cave. And then Climber's Cave is like the start point for where we're going to start searching for the bunker. It's basically like, from Climber's Cave, if you're looking at the map, like if Climber's Cave is here, you want to go down here somewhere. We might want to... Where's the uh, Polaroid? It might be nice to do that vista. That might help us. What I'm curious about is if we map with a Polaroid, if it's going to show us the cache or the uh, bunker. Does anyone know? Should we just check on our own? Uh, where is the... Where is the high meadow? It's backwards past the way where we shoot the bear. So we'd have to backtrack, but it's something we could do. We could go back towards high meadow and then map that and then cross there. That's an option. And then I think you can rope down uh, from High Meadow to Climber's Cave, if I'm not mistaken. I, I really don't know. That's like the whole thing with this map is I spent like 50 days here, but there's a part of the map I never went to. I still don't know it. <clears throat> All right, we can put this bow away. We don't need it no more. Rumpy old man, thank you for this. Uh, appreciate your support. Thank you, thank you, thank you. When we were doing the Ice Age Sniper, courtesy of Quill, uh, we had to shoot the bear from here. It was pretty fun. But the whole challenge of Ice Age Sniper was long shots with the bow on different bears. And uh, that was a lot of fun. Quill did a lot of work getting that organized because, you know, it had to be vetted properly to make sure it was possible. But yeah, that was a lot of fun. Hey, sure, so welcome in. Good to see you. Thanks for hanging. And that's on the YouTube chat. Hey, Mycroft, please show YouTube. Mycroft, show YouTube. And then Mycroft will post post that link for you if you want to check it out. Uh, the YouTube has all my old challenges on it if you're interested. Some of them are really short and sweet, you know, like two or three VODs. The Gunslinger one, that one comes to mind. Uh, we had to do the Revolver, 100 Wolves, Hip Firing, A Bear and a Moose, Ice Age Sniper. Those are real four, short, fun challenges. If you're feeling like you want to get nostalgic and revisit some earlier runs of the game. There it is. Thanks, Mycroft. You're the you're the best bot on Twitch. We might as well chop these up and just leave them at the craft table at the gold mine because you know future ones might show up there. Mycroft best bot. I indeed I am. I'll be here whenever you need me. Dang, Mycroft. <laughs> <clears throat> Check yourself, Mycroft. Watch that ego. I'm kidding. Hey, they made it so you could see the food. It used to be buried. Now it's there. This is another thing about Ash Canyon that's really neat, is it's like it's a long walk to get to places, but this is really gorgeous and unique and 
feels dangerous and exciting at the same time. Like, they just did a great job on the map design here. Whoa, Astrid, don't you fall, please. <laughs> we put her foot through. <laughs> Did you see that? She's crazy. It's crazy. All right, Ash Canyon. Yeah, we don't have the polar raid here to Wolf Jaw. There's a few different spots we haven't searched yet. Look at that vantage point on a clear day, though. Wow. See forever. Again, so many maples to a flip. Yeah, right. No, I'm not ready to restart. We've got a lot more work to do yet. And suggestions on easing oneself into Nogoa by adjusting the settings. Um, honestly, just um, start start with Loper Custom, and then turn Condition Recovery off. Uh, don't don't worry. Like if you're looking for more of just a chill dead man, just turn Condition Recovery off. You don't need to do full Nogoa settings. Um, just learning how to live on dead man, or the other option is Mateo load into As the Dead Sleep and treat As the Dead Sleep as a survival run. The weather is pretty good on As the Dead Sleep, and you get a lot of, um, you get a lot of, like, cattails and teas, way more than Nogoa, but the o only thing that's way harder is no, uh, no deer and rabbits, I think. So you, you do have kind of a tougher, tougher job as far as hunting food. But As the Dead Sleep is, is like a chill dead man. You could always start there. But if you're thinking about adding birch tea to Nogoa, like that's fine and all, but the, the tough part of no Nogoa is going to be the spawn, especially if you don't have the map knowledge. <clears throat> you know, you'll spawn in, in a blizzard at midnight and either you'll survive or you won't. So birch tea doesn't really help with that part, if you know what I mean. But yeah, as it did sleep, I would say, I'd say load into as it did sleep as a survival run and have some fun, maybe do 50 days, try to survive 50 days and as it did sleep. Maybe you, um, you know, figure out some cool strats and pick up some uh, sort of gameplay mechanics that you didn't use before to survive the no condition recovery. But yeah, there's options. Try that. Yeah, but as it does sleep is like all you have to do is hit hit go, and you spawn at Bleak Inlet, which is kind of rough, but it's also pretty exciting and fun. And then once you get out of there. You've got a lot of, you know, a lot of options. Another thing about As It Sleep is there's a there's a treat in the poacher's camp. I don't know if it's still there, I assume. But that's pretty powerful for uh, for an outer looper run or like a survival run or whatever the heck you're doing as an As It Sleep base. Ace, space ace, good to see you, welcome. The other option, uh, Mateo, if you're still here, is this code is like no Goa feel, but with stalker loot. So that's like kind of crazy. And the stalker loot makes it uh, easier late game, but it's still pretty tough at the beginning until you get going, going. But then you're 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 getting used to stalker loot, which might not which might not help you in the end. Might confuse things. All right, so no more bear coat. What is what is here? A rope. Oh, great. Can you get a bear coat still, or what? Is that just not a thing anymore? Matches can spawn here still, nice. So many matches on this map. There's like another spawn over here too. Sometimes. And then this is where the stim used to be. Not here, but I'm just checking around, you never know. You never know, chat. They used to have a stim right here. So they put that somewhere else or they just removed it entirely. That way you finish the void missions exactly. Like we had a lot of fun with the Sogoa code because you know, it's, it is still 
like not easy at the beginning, but it's definitely way easier than Nogoa. So you kind of can, you know, enjoy the loot and then, uh, you know, do whatever you need to do. You don't have to pick up the stalker items. You can always just uh, enjoy the extra loot, like the extra food and stuff that's around. I guess we could have deployed the rope, but we're going to go down the mountain anyways, so who cares? And then too, you can still get up from the exit of the mine, you just have to go back. Back around, then up again. And it spits you back down there. All these birth saplings. We're gonna leave so many here. Hey, thanks for lurking, Cherza. Appreciate you. Hey, Brad, welcome in. Good to see you. Hope you're doing well, Brad. We're still chilling on uh, vanilla interloper here. We're just doing the Ash Canyon adventure now. So far, so good. We'll uh, get the backpack and then shed some weight. How do you access the our territory DLC after installing? Call in. Uh, Basically, if you go to, if it's if you've installed it and it's active, all you have to do is go to Broken Railroad, and uh, if you know Broken Railroad, there's like a bridge. So instead of turning right to the maintenance yard, you keep going. There's a truck, a train car, and then a bridge that's broken. If you've paid for the DLC, there's a plank now across that broken bridge, and that's the access point. So just go through Broken Railroad on the rail line across the broken bridge, and then. You'll, you'll know what's up pretty quick. You'll see it. Yeah, call and enjoy. Good luck. And uh, come back. Come back later and let us know how, what you think. It's, uh, it's a lot of fun. I'm a big fan of this new DLC content. So enjoy. And I won't spoil anything for you. Thought the new tales were like, no, they're not. It's a uh, stalker. Pilgrim Voyager is active with the tail. All you have to do is pick up the transponder. So once you pick up the transponder, uh, the transmitter, then it activates the tail in your journal. So until then, it's just you're just playing a normal survival run. And uh, again, it doesn't work on Interloper as of yet, but Hinterland might add that eventually. You are able to do custom Interloper uh, but you have to change the BRA, the baseline resort allocation, to medium. You need stalker loot to be able to get the transmitter. Yeah, there's a little note from Raph about uh, their plans to rectify the situation. <laughs> but yeah, if you want interloper transponder, you have to do custom with baseline resources set to medium. And then you gotta just sort of not pick up stalker loot, I guess. But yeah, that's the only way to do it right now. <clears throat> but if you've got a like a stalker run going, then no worries. Then you can just show up there and pick it up. You don't even need to do a new run. I always thought this would be a neat place to add like a tool, like a hacksaw or a hammer. Just laying around. Seems like it would be fitting. Oh, another blue flare. They really are sticking the flares out there, aren't they? I think we had two when we entered, and now we have, yeah, more. <laughs> You've been playing this game since it dropped in early access in Xbox when it was only Mystery Lake. Wow. See, I, uh, I started playing in like 2019, but I did go through the time capsules and played through those early versions. A lot of fun. You know what? Why don't we just use one of these blue flares? No. That'd be silly. We use the lamp. 365 days survived together. Let us open a good can of dog food to celebrate. <laughs> Ray, thank you for the 12 months, thank you for the year. It's amazing. Cocaine bear? Oh, goodness. Well, I've heard some people have found matches in the bunkers, so you never know. Matches, hammers, stuff like that.
But Ray, hope you're well. Hope the kid's doing good. Welcome in. Great to have you. Thank you for the year of support. Enjoy that rainbow moon. No, they haven't announced episode 5 yet. Uh, it seems like uh, the focus is right now on just getting the tails sorted and patched up. But they've, they've, I don't know, they might have two teams working on the tails versus the episode 5 winter mute. I have no idea. We'll, we'll hear more when, when there's more information to hear, basically. Angelina's gonna hush hush until the time comes. Yeah, gorgeous moon, you got it. Excuse me. Just taking off shoes in water matter? Yeah, like if we have our shoes on, they do get wet, I think. Yeah, just a little bit, but if you walk back and forth, they get really wet. It's kind of like uh, the, the, I don't know, there's no other spots like this really, is there? Not that I can think of, maybe in the Black Rock Mine. Need some more lamp oil now, that's what we need. Alright, another pair of crampons. These ones are still 100%, so we'll just leave them here. Tech backpack equipped, so let's go. Astro, stop trying to put out the lamp. Alright, you know what? Let's go ahead and craft. I think we do need some water. Wow. Hush River, same thing in Hush River. Uh, makes sense. Let's drop all the uh, things we don't need here. If we ever show back up here, there's going to be some saplings cured. We didn't even do the whole map, we just did a little portion of it. They changed the bottom... They changed the bottom light the torch? Really? Uh oh. That's kind of funny. All right, let's get a little sip here, and then we'll sleep for like a couple hours. What time is it? <clears throat> we do have ropes to climb, but we got crampons and we're going down. Yeah, holy maples. We have maples, saplings, we got everything. Uh, let's see here. Oh yeah, it's nighttime. Let's just do two liters. Sleep two hours and go. Alright, we'll drop the knife. Drop the hatchet. And then that way we'll uh, smash these cans up. Have something to eat. Now it's right trigger. Oh, interesting. It's funny they did that. Tons of saplings. Yeah, Ash Canyon was added and it's like people who were on long runs were like, oh wow. Okay, not gonna go hungry now. Okay, 48 minutes till melted. Let's go two hours and then we're getting out of here. Climb on down that rope. Two ropes to climb down. Oh, you know what? Kind of sounds nasty out, if I'm being honest. Maybe we sleep here a bit more. Sounds like a blizzard.
Might as well. I'm redeeming this target monitor from an hour ago. Oh no, I've already redeemed it. Oh, it turned off? Uh oh. That's weird. It was on. <laughs> I swear. Uh, what's going on? Okay, uh, maybe it just turned off while I went downstairs or something. Thanks for reminding me. Just get four hours of sleep. If the blizzard stops, we can leave. Maybe there's a moose down at the bottom of the rope. Okay, we weigh 37. Yikes. What can we drop? Matches. Okay, let's just put some matches in this drawer. Oh, the teas again with the teas. <clears throat> All right, let's leave. Why not? I'm really looking forward to a challenge involving the heart rate monitor. <laughs> heart rate can't go over 110 or something. You had to restart. That'd be tough. I have to, I'd have to do some meditative breathing or something. Stop, pause every time I get stressed, take a walk. I don't know. Challenge fails. <laughs> All right, big step, big step. 130? Well, we've hit we've hit that number only a few times, believe it or not. Like we've hit 170, but like we've only crossed the one 130 mark on the rare occasions, I feel. Maybe 115. That's like high enough that it might happen often and otherwise, uh what's the excitement? It's not like we have jump scare redeems or anything. We're leaving. We're getting out of here, chat. We're going down the rope. We have the tech backpack, we have well fed, we have crampons. Should be pretty straightforward for us. But yeah, look at the size of this rope, and this is the second one of three. Like, this is an aggressive climb. When they first put this map out, there was a spawn like at the bottom rope, so obviously you're like, hey, I'll just climb this rope. I'm fully rested, what's the worst that could happen? Could have swore we warmed up a coffee. Yeah, we did. Let's drink that. A fire log? Excuse me? No food? Just a fire log. Interesting. Coming up this way? Yeah, this is a tough path to, to choose. You need stims or coffee or like a sleep. Halfway. That's bonkers. Oh, I, got, I figured you were going to say something other than boy. Oh, that's that's not the one we want. Whatever, just slide it. Well, 
Last rope? I didn't even check for the moose. If he's down there. <laughs> Whoops. Sometimes the moose can just like a row on you when you're just coming off this rope. Three stink lines. Cartographer, 115 heart rate. Oh my goodness. Now you're talking. The three stink lines I like. Is it, If it's on Nogoa though, maybe I can just chill. If it, or not no go. If it's on Loper Vanilla, then maybe I can just chill. That's the one thing. No goa is impossible. Oh, that's a deer. It sounded like a deer, but I wasn't sure because we didn't have a visual on it. Now the moose is different noise, different audio. That's a moose. That is a moose, chat. Okay, so where's the best way to hunt this this big boy? From this ledge, maybe? The moose are like four by four, though. Why don't we just use the tree to dance? I can't even see. Oh, we got a hit? Okay. <laughs> I can't even see, chat. Okay, he reset. Why would he reset? 137, yeah, we failed the challenge. Nice. That worked really well. I don't know what happened there. Like, why didn't he charge us? We shot him. He should have charged us. Hmm. Can we find some wind chill? I feel like right here should be wind chill. It's not gonna let me. It's a little far. Maybe we just wait. Make it look easy. <laughs> I couldn't even see him. I'm surprised uh, those shots hit. Yeah, we got him twice, right? Twice. How to die in two shots, the critical hit. If you hit it right here on the neck, th this spot, it's it's like a very, very good chance at a critical hit. You shoot it right in the face, not so much, but if you land a shot on the neck, right, right where it meets the back there on the spine, it's pretty much critical. All right, I don't know. How are we going to do this? You know what? Let's just go uh, conquer down. Maybe pick up some sticks and then come back out here. We'll, we'll harvest this thing and I'll take the hideout of the map, which sucks, but we'll do it. Here as we go with the sat the hide. Oh no, we're gonna have to loosen some inventory. Okay, 
Okay, we're stone shelf cave up here. Still haven't seen any acorn trees in this map. Yeah, the first moose I ever killed was a one shot with level one archery. So I was like, all right, moose are easy. And that was after it stopped me though. <laughs> Excuse me. It's the middle of the night, oh goodness. Food poison, let's go. Give it to me. No, the stomach. <laughs> called called it. Called it. Okay, we'll eat everything we have that's bad and then sleep the night. Okay. Sleep ten hours straight through. Right? What's the worst that could happen? Feels like it's warm in here. <laughs> Ten hours in the cave? What? If it blizzards on us, ah, we'll be we'll be fine. Let's see, there was never any reason to worry, chat. Calculated risk. Oh, is there any fuel in any fuel in here? All right, let's go uh, process this moose. How's that bow doing? 31? Okay, maybe we go to anglers before we leave and just get, get that second bow. Someone said they fixed the large birch bark. That's not the case. <laughs> yeah, we didn't want to shoot this moose because of the, you know, the long trek with the hide, but we'll, we'll make it work. Can't do it. Figured as much. Okay. Let's just uh, cook a bit. Grab what we can. Or should we just go for the hide straight up first? I feel like it'd be a disservice to this moose not to process it, you know? Giant birch bark was perfect the way it was. I know. <laughs> we love it. We love it. Don't don't ever change. Fifty four minutes, forty four, perfect. And then we can always load this fire up. Boom. Oh goodness, there's two bags, chat. There's two bags. What? <laughs> what the heck? Twenty five point six three kilos. What? There's twelve. What is the point? Hinterland, what are you doing? I don't understand. Explain yourself, please. What the heck is that? Quarter of the bags. Can you? Oh god, right if you can, that'd be so funny. You can't. <laughs> oh my goodness. 
Either way, let's just uh, go ahead and do some processing. And then we'll drop the guts here, and the moot will be here. The moot? The moose meat will be here for future ones to deal with if he wants it. Thanks for the hydrate. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, oh. Let's just get the whole thing down, why not? That way, if we ever come back here, there's just a ton, ton of meat if we need it. Oh, that's that's a blizzard. That's a blizzard. Okay, let's uh, go ahead and grab this and take it to the cave with the guts, why not? You know, we can always hold a flare in our hands. I'm not sure I can carry much more. Eleven kilos. Alright, we did we did good enough, chat. I can't even see. Let's just cross, turn left to get to the cave, drop the guts, the hide, and then maybe we plan our escape. I wanna go climber's cave and then check on the what should we call it? Uh, bunker. I want to find the bunker. And birch bark. Hey, Bigfoot. Good to see my friend been lurking on mute. Why is the bag so heavy? Is that part of the update? Yes. Yeah. But the thing was, is it wasn't even a quarter. It was, we got two bags. <laughs> it's got to be a glitch, right? We got two bags. It's crazy. But Bigfoot, great to see you, even if you can't hear me. How's the back? Face is doing okay. Like, uh, I'm trying to keep up with my, you know, physio, and I'm trying to go and walk every day, do some exercise. I got good, good chair, good desk set up, so I'm trying. I'm trying. Good pieces, nice work. Nice job, thank you. Hope you're doing well too. Okay, since it's a blizzard and we don't really have anything else to do, let's just hang out here maybe. Repair our Mackinac if we can. Back to work, Larry. Thanks, Bigfoot. Have a good one. Maybe Travoy coming with the Cougar? Hopefully, uh, Mighty, but that's not on this update. Uh, we hopefully will get that, you know. I think um, someone in chat was saying their their idea or their thought is that Hinterland is going to be doing, for the DLC, like a map, single void tail, map, single void tail. So maybe the next thing we get is a map? I don't know, though. It's hard to say. Hey, Hunter, good to see you. What were the yellow bits? Oh, the acorns? Probably the acorns. These? Yeah, those are the acorns. So you can smash them with a hammer after cooking to turn them into coffee, or you can cook them and then eat them as like a kind of a cattail. Yeah, the acorns. They're interesting. I don't know. 
they're not really powerful as a coffee, but they're pretty good as a cheap food. It's just they take a long time to make. It's a lot of effort. Let's do the ear wrap, why not? The hunter get to see you, hope you're well. Oh, fail. And now we're out of cloth. Hunter, have you checked out the new game uh, Demonologist yet? It's like Phasmo, but with Unreal 5. I don't know, it, it could be interesting. Could be interesting. Uh, let's see, what are we doing, chat? I think we just live here for the night, right? Try by come. Yeah, Bash was talking about that, the content drop in that order. I think Ruak might have been too. I tried it, but I got scared. <laughs> Alright, I might check it out. I might check it out. I think it's uh, got some pretty interesting like voice mechanics and jump scares for sure. Seven hours sleep in a blizzard. What could go wrong? Get the travel at the end of the DLC. Uh, we don't know when. They've they've done like a a roadmap, but it's not that clear. All right. Do we leave middle of the night? Sure. Okay. <laughs> we need to lose five kilos of weight. How do we do this? How do we do this? Well, I got a few more days off, Hunter, so maybe I'll pick up that game and uh, I'll ping you, check it out. Probably gonna not stream tomorrow. I keep saying that, but I'm addicted, chat. I'm addicted to this new content. Okay. Let's leave. I don't want to be here anymore. Oh, sprain risk. Okay, hold on. We gotta lose 0.45 and then I can, then I can leave. There we go, we did it! With the drop of a cedar. Play any more monkey game? I played, uh, I think I only played like four hours of it. I didn't play that much. I will be back at it though. I think I'll try it again for sure. I enjoyed it. It's just like, it doesn't, it doesn't spell anything out for you. You kind of just have to figure it out on your own. <laughs> I'm not that good at that, it, it seems. All right, apparently we have an Aurora tonight, chat. This route is safe, as far as I know. Like, there's no wolves on it. That's the best part. There's no hand-holding. I know, but I need my handheld. I need my handheld sometimes. That's why I stream, so I can ask chat how to play the video game, and then I still look like I know what I'm doing. All right, chat, the current mission, by the way, is the bunker. I want to go find the bunker. All I really know is it's over, like, kind of on the that end of the map. Um, on like the perimeter. Now that audio of the wolves has got to be something they didn't intend. It's a little interesting. There's like a haunted Aurora wolf now noise now. Oh, giant birch bark. Look at this chat. This is massive. <laughs> Crazy time to be alive. Yeah, I know someone was in chat like a couple days ago and said they patched the birch bark, but they have not patched the birch bark. It is still massive. But we'll clean up all the bark we can. And then uh, we'll just stockpile it. It's like easier to use the birch bark than it is the Raishi and other teas because it's renewable. I like the transforming wolf sound. Is that what that is? It seems like it's like an audio layer got added to the wolves during Aurora. It's almost cursed sounding. Need a cougar pelt for the travel weight? No, I doubt they'll do that. It will probably be like leather, maples, maybe deer hides, saplings or something like that. 
but to have like cougar hide for the new item i don't know that might be kind of sneaky what if people don't want to mess with the cougars Where's the Aurora music? That'd be interesting, but... I don't know, I feel like some people might not be keen on hunting cougars, so they might feel locked out of the travway, and Hinterland is pretty considerate about that sort of stuff. You know, and plus the travway will be for, like, Pilgrim Voyager players hauling loot across the world to their bases, probably more than it's for, like, a you know, an interloper player. Hey, hey, Dark, good to see you. Welcome. Did I miss anything? I I don't know. We're just chilling, just hanging out. <laughs> we did the uh, Ash Cannon adventure. No drama yet. I need to find some place to escape. The sit rep. Yeah, I have no idea what we're doing. Not me hauling 80 cold. Yeah, right. True. The cool on Loper could be pretty fun. Forgot about that. If we don't get the Travoy and Interloper, there will be riots in the streets. Nah, we'll get the Travoy. We've got to. Maybe there's like a, a mechanic they'll put in where you have to unlock the recipe for the Travoy, but who knows. It's over, yeah. Overtime day, what, 60-something you said? I don't know. You did really well, though. 43. Oh my goodness. You have no sit rep? <laughs> we, we, uh, that sit, sit rep is the cheat sit rep. The actual sit rep is, I don't know, we're on like day 25, we just summited, we just cleaned up Ash Canyon, we got the tech backpack, now what we're trying to do is go find the, uh, what's called, uh, the bunker. There's a bunker in the hills. 58, I was close. If it's craftable, it'll be on Loper, I hope so. I doubt it'll be like a found item, it seems like something you could craft. Chance there's a snow shelter up here. We haven't found the snow shelter yet in this map. Overtime day 43. Wow. GG's. Nope, no snow shelter. Uh, but Dark, I was just talking to Hunter about the new game Demonologist. Have you checked that out yet? It's kind of like Phasmo, but maybe quite a bit scarier. At least the assets are really, you know, kind of spooky comparatively. Let me know if you ever want to play again. I still have played up. I think I uh, I owe it another shot. I only got like four hours in that game. Stokes was talking about it. Oh, okay, okay. All right, there is a cave up here. We'll go rest in Climber's Cave. And then we'll just try to find this bunker. Like I said, it's somewhere over that way. Nice, Stark. Well, I got the day off tomorrow, so maybe... Uh, Maybe we can set something up. I think the travel will be uh, like going into Scruffy's cave with a lamp. By the time you put it down, you'll get killed. <laughs> yeah, like how's it gonna work? Is it just gonna like attach to you with a rope, or is it gonna be something that you have to basically have your hands free to use? Because if that's the case and you can't like torch walk or, or have a lamp, it's going to be interesting. And maybe like the travelway can't even go through cave systems. Maybe it's like you have to leave it outside <laughs> or something. I don't know. Oh, look at this coffee. Nice work. A little bit of everything here. Let's get an hour to swarm up. Warm enough. <laughs> Alright, let's try to find this thing. This, uh, what's it called? Bunker. October 22nd. Yeah, it's been a while for me too. I was probably in that, that game with you, maybe. I didn't, uh, didn't play it much past when I bought it. My defense, I don't have tons of extra time. I'm always too tuckered out in the afternoons, afternoon evenings when I'm done work. Plus I've been sitting all day and I just can't seem to get my butt off the couch. That's probably when we last played, yeah, probably. 
All right, let's see if we can find this bunker. It should be like, you know, pretty intuitive, right? Maybe in Aurora, there'll be like flashing lights beside it. The, the towel, that's so random, that random towel. And again, that's um, the exit there, so we're not far from the exit. We kind of know where we are at least. Aurora wolves howling in the distance. It's almost morning. They've added a lot. <laughs> nice. Oh, I think I found it. This looks like it. Nice chat. Easy. All right, do we get anything at all or is it empty? Oh, we get lights. That's cute. There's abandoned uh, prepper cache with lights. Literally nothing else though, and they all look the same. They're all exactly the same so far. Interesting. Hmm. Okay, well. I wonder if it's worth tearing up the cardboard just to see if there's anything like hidden. Well, it's it's like not disappointing. It's cool that this is here. I think I think the bunkers are neat. There's just nothing in them. <laughs> Turn that into a new hidey hole. Yeah, maybe it's like a cute little base for sure. Oh, let's drop our hide uh, before we forget. Wait. Oh, could we have it? Oh, my goodness. OK, and we'll, we'll remember to pick that up before we go, right? For sure, for sure. Six percent. Oh my goodness, it's gonna take so long. It's dry, yeah. We don't have to worry about getting cold in here. Oh, I thought this was a deer carcass. Uh what else now? Like what this is just some dead end corner, isn't it? What a weird spot. It's a bit out of the way compared to some of the other bunkers. Now what's over here? That's not the way we want to go. Let's just go back and then we'll get out. That's your deer carcass. Yeah, this is the deer carcass. You know what? We're going to leave it though. We don't need we don't need it right now. OK, let's go back the way we came. That's the exit there. Can we just go down? Probably. It's the worst that could happen. It's the worst that could happen, chat. Oh, look at this. We found something. Sneaky container. All right, that's it. That's all. Yeah, the worst thing you die. <laughs> exactly. OK, so now where are we? Deer clearing. Oof. That's fine. We can just walk out of deer clearing and, and then, you know, we'll go through Pleasant back towards Coastal Highway and then we can do our beach combing adventure again. Yeah, that empty container. There's also like a towel. It's just a weird spot. There's just some weird loot. What's the point of the fire animation while goading? Um, so basically, like the fire, as you can see, it sticks to areas you can walk. So if you put it here, how you see how it's it's a uh, flat or parallel to the ground. That means you can't grab onto that. Uh, you'll fall here if you're Billy goading. Uh, 
so when when the fire is like like this you can actually walk on that so you could walk down this without falling but here you would fall so it's a way to tell if the area is safe for goading so like you can tell some areas like this you could walk down but you would fall right here so it's just a way to tell what's safe to goat All right, we're out of here. Yeah, secondary way to make sure you don't fall. It works pretty good, but sometimes you don't have fire start materials. Our lamp's almost out of oil. We have more at Quonset, maybe? I don't know, actually. We have more oil somewhere. Can't believe we have to haul this moose hide through, like, all the maps. Such a pain. Right hand rule, why not? Just loot this cave out. Actually, we might have missed a turn. It's fine. There's like a there's like a carcass and sometimes a pot, but we don't really need that right now. Let's get out of here. Vanilla interloper, that's right. If you're new to the channel, we're doing a vanilla loper today. And uh it's been a little bit of fun. Been experiment with the beach combing. I didn't see any acorns in Ash Canyon at all, but we also didn't go up to High Meadow, and I feel like High Meadow would have some acorns. Probably. And then we drop the moose hide. So we don't forget it. <laughs> we can't forget the moose hide chat. Here as we go. Okay, we do need to be uh, dropping some weight here. 40 40, perfect. Just eat, fill belly, drink some water, and then we can get down that rope easy. Underweight with a 5 kilo moose hide. It's impressive. You know, we don't have the bear hide or the bear coat yet, so that's part of it. Oh, we didn't craft. Uh, we can go out though and craft, I think. At the, uh, whatchamacallit, Mountaineer Hut. Go out this cave with a lit lantern. Okay, try it. Backpack OP. It's not allowed. All right, we'll leave with the lit lamp. See what happens, is there a glitch? What happened? It's a big lamp now? Or I'm just holding it higher? What's, what's the difference? It's just like, it's like in a different spot. Weird. A little glitch, maybe? Backpack, backpack on? Nope, it's not allowed. It's just not allowed. It would be so nice, but then, then we'd have to go to Ash Canyon. Who wants to do that? Crampons activated. Still underweight. Oh, what's what's the glitch with that then, Slimmy? We left the bear hide at uh, Ash Canyon. It's fine. We really don't need more. Like we could make the bear bed rule or two bear coats. I don't want two bear coats. <laughs> It's too heavy. 
You transferred to spawn point with no items? <gasps> Why would you tell me to do that? I, I don't want that. <laughs> I wouldn't want that to happen. That's a nasty glitch. I've had something like that happen before, but as long as you don't get a save point, I think you just exit out and then reload and you have your stuff back, as far as I know. But that did happen to us once, and we didn't know what was going on. It was pretty frustrating. Moose hide, yeah, we got the moose in Ash Canyon, so we're carrying it. It weighs five kilos, it's really heavy. But the thing is, is once we carry it, we can make the satchel, which then is, you know, gives us the buff for carry capacity. So we'll see. I guess we just stop and warm up, why not? Sleep an hour, a little cat nap. Or we don't even need to sleep, we can just pass time like this. Boop. Half an hour later, good to go. We could go check on the other bunker chat. The Timberwolf bunker is over here. We've already found it, so we found uh, on this run. Pleasant Valley, Timberwolf Ash. On previous runs, we found Mountain Town, Mystery Lake, Hush River. So we still need to find like a couple Muskeg, uh, Black Rock, Bleak Inlet. I think there's a bunker in Bleak, maybe. Once we get to uh, Mountaineer's Hut, we'll re remake our bow. This one's at like 30%. But for those wondering, the, uh, the hatch is this way. The cache, if you just follow that, where that tree is, it's just up there. So if you cross the tree bridge past wing, turn left, you'll find it. And again, on Stalker and Below, three of them actually spawn really cool loot. Like, really good loot. I kind of want to go back to my Stalker run and do that eventually. Go find the rest of the bunkers, see if we can get that uh, special item. Alright, I think we're going to skip the Flare Gun. Even like if we get the Flare Gun, we still don't have Flare Shells, so what's the point? There's like one Flare Shell in Forsaken Airfield, but there's also a Flare Gun in Forsaken Airfield. So we could just get that instead. It's our, uh, okay, we're still underweight. If a bear comes at us, the point? Yeah, it's more weight. <laughs> oh, there's a deer eaten, getting eaten by a wolf over there. Nature's happening, chat. See if we see where the bear is. We got a heist go and check, get in on it, you know he wants to. Heist it up before it's too late. Where's this bear? Oh, there he is. What do you think, chat? Should we do a little dance? Our bow might break halfway through it. <laughs> I think we avoid him. It's not like we actually need a bear hide. Like I said, we have the option now of either making a bear bed roll or two bear coats. I don't want both, that's for sure. Way too heavy. Do a little dance. Make a little love. We are not getting down tonight. Not, not happening. What other, uh, what other stuff do we want to do? I guess Bleak Inlet Beachcombing, I want to check on that. There's only one spawn of Beachcombing, really, and it's like, well, two, technically. There's one by the hut, and then there's, the rest are just behind the lighthouse, so... Where is your sense of adventure? 
I'm on a mission. We're trying to get to the uh, beach. I want to go beachcombing again. Literally, that's all I can think about. Run, run. Today is not a good day for heists for you. <laughs> Sorry, rocks. Not today. Today is not your lucky day. All right, we have the option of making the rabbit hat right now. I want to actually check my notes and see if it's any good. Compared to two toques, two old toques, what's the point? Okay, so the rabbit hat is two and one five versus the toque, which is two and one. So it is 0.5 better. But then we have to worry about rabbit crafting. Is it, is it worth it, chat? Is it actually worth it? 30% and 4% 4 defense. Versus 30%, 2%. So it's 2% defense better. 0.5 warmth. I don't think I care about that hat, chat. Let's not worry about it. Let's uh, finish the bow. Seven minutes of crafting for the bow. Boom. Nice work. And we'll get the uh, birch sapling chopped up. And by the time we're done, we can leave warm. Hey Slig, good to see you. Welcome in. Thank you for the raid. Hope you're doing well. Let's put one coal in here. Six coal for Pleasant Valley. Is that enough? Good Slid, I hope you had a great stream. Great to see you, my friend. Yeah, this hide hurts. Hurts to carry this, but what are we gonna do? Oh, let's leave some teas here. Yeah, we'll just leave these herbal teas all over the map. We have so many of them. And then what else can we leave? Coffee, I guess. Two coffees, how about? There we go. So generous. Point nine. Let's leave a box of crackers, too. Our cackers will be a nice treat next time we show up. <laughs> Welcome in Raiders, hope you had a great stream. We just finished the Ash Canyon Summit Adventure and now we're going back to the beach. Astrid needs to go beach combing. There's a chance we get another moose hunt. I currently have a moose hide on me and it's at like 7% cured. But we are underweight. We're doing really well with the inventory management for once. But we had the Ash Canyon moose hunt in the middle of the night during bad weather, so it was kind of exciting. And now let's see if there's another moose here to get in our way. Maybe not. Have you been to Three Strikes? Not yet. Uh, we might go there though, because we haven't been there yet. Um, and I heard maybe there's some good loot. Good loot to be found. No moose? No, I hear something. Maybe not. No moose. That's fine by me. Like I said, we have a hide on us. You want some double checking? I haven't seen it yet again. All right, I'll go check it out. Um, we haven't been there, so... We can go three strikes, and then... From three strikes, we can... Uh, Leave the map or go to Keeper's Pass to get the flare gun if we want. All right, we'll be there soon. So let's uh, let's let's do it. Why not? Three strikes item. Do I need a memento node or anything first? Sprain wrist. Go put that stick down. 
<laughs> we have Max. It's just laying there. Oh, okay. And this was since the last update. Interesting. All right, folks. We have uh, we have a destination. Is on go run into five days ago. Oh, interesting. Okay. Well, check it out. Look how we were just talking about this, how there's way less outdoor stims now. Like, they took out the Ash Canyon one, they took out the Muskeg one. The extra stims that we used to get in the Hush River are now gone. So we basically have Summit, Ravine, Broken Railroad, Milton. What else? What am I missing? Yeah, Slim Pickens. A final destination. Not a final, final destination, but we actually have a plan. We have a plan. I typically don't go to Three Strikes. It just seems out of the way for not a lot, but if there's a stim there, we should go check it out. Oh, might as well. And then the long curve um, memento note is probably not there, but we should check. Who, who was mad about the three pack of stims? Seriously? No way. That must have been a stalker loot glitch, though. Stalker has renewable stims. Wait, how are they renewable? Do they beachcomb? Okay. Really, you can beachcomb stims on Stalker, but not Loper. Good to know. Interesting. I haven't seen any Loper yet. <laughs> you never know. You know, I'm sure lots of people are grinding the beachcomb though to get an idea of what the loot is. That's what we are supposed to be doing. But we're heading that way now. We're probably going to settle on the beach and just jump from, you know, Desolation Point to Coastal and back again. My wrist. No way. Not like this. Now, did we leave anything in this bunker? Let's check it out. You're gonna do 100 and see. 100 blizzards. Nice. Should give you some data. Might as well see what's in here. Did we leave anything? Deer hide. How did we get a deer hide? We don't need it, but maybe for repairs, it's nice to have. Here, let's just quickly warm up. Bad bow. We want the bad bow. Okay. Let's go uh, towards three strikes. We're a little tired, but there's a prepper's cache on the way. So we can hit the prepper's cache for the night or carry on to the cave. It's actually really nice out though. Let's just wander. Just wander. Alright, that was fun though. We did the whole summit adventure. You found a pretty handy coat goat coming out of Burn Ridge Cave to Three Strikes. Can hug the wall to the right before log crossing. One of the walls that can be there. So from Burnt Ridge, you head down the hill and then go before the tree bridge. Interesting. Nice one. Uh yeah, no, honestly, there's some new goats that are happening and I'd love to see it. I'd love to see it. Bad bow, bad bow, <laughs> what are you gonna do? Exactly.
I might be not shooting at deer anymore, chat. We had such a rough time. So many deer took our arrows. I mean, you gotta get the highest ledge up and you can basically just walk across it. Nice. And then you're basically at three strikes, okay. I don't like this walk because of the bear, so obviously I might check that out in the future. Yeah, this area here, it's kind of like a pinch point. And we'll skip the bunker, we've already found it. But it's basically up this way, if you just go this direction and then hug the wall on the left side. It's it's uh, up uh, around the corner behind this rock. End up behind that little mushroom quartz patch area. Oh, okay, I know, I know what you're talking about. So this is where you come out. The plane crash is there, and then hug the rock here, and then once you pass the rock, it's on the left. But this area is a little dangerous with the bear nearby. We're gonna get a blizzard once we hit three strikes, aren't we? So that's the plane crash, and then the prepper's catch, sorry, the bunker, is just past this rock here on the left side. Could have swore I heard the bear as being extra cautious. Oh, that's why I heard a wolf. Is there even a bear here? There is a bear. Somewhere. Nice shot once. <laughs> a fox. Quilia. Fox, welcome in. Sorry if I'm butchering your name. I know I am. Typical. But welcome. Good to see you. Welcome to the Grim Gang. Wolf attack. I had a feeding wolf attack me when I scared it off, even with torch in your hand? Oh my. Spicy nude is welcome in. Salty spicy noodles, welcome. Or not, I don't know, NAC something? I was thinking sodium chloride. <laughs> <laughs> no salt. Okay. <laughs> well, spicy could have you. Zero salt. Ah, zero salt. Spicy noodles. Okay. Close enough. I was close. I was close. What's with the bow in my face? We're like stuck in the running animation, but we were walking. That's weird. 92% on day 9 in the forge and the basin one tripped out. Yeah, that's like that no-goa setting for you. It seems to be like when there's multiple wolves around, they seem to be a little sketchy. Their, their wolf AI is a little wonked. have a fire and like sleep by the fire barrel I guess. Salt reminds you. Oh no. Hydrate. Cheers. Yeah I'm out of coffee so we gotta drink water now. Cheers. <sighs> Alright three strikes and we'll do the three strikes uh, long curve run I think. Why not? This is a long walk though. We're not above three strikes, are we? Nah, I think it's just down here. No acorns either. Maybe there will be a bunch of acorns at three strikes.
We have the moose hide, right? Say it ain't so, we do. Good. Whew. I'd hate to leave that behind on one of our power naps. But yeah, the idea is get the moose hide to Coastal Highway, then we can just set it there and beachcomb happily. All right, three strikes. So uh, we'll hopefully have an answer for you here, whether or not there's something, something good, stim worthy. You got moose carpet? Yeah, we heard about that too. Another person found it last week. So the moose carcass in Hush River is still a thing. It's rare, but it, it does happen. We approach from a different angle. Normally I come from over there. Oh, we found it. We found it. The perfect place. I haven't seen a bear coat. Oh, in um, Ash, we didn't find one today. I don't think it still exists, honestly. I haven't heard of anyone finding one, at least. All right, moment of truth. Where was the stim supposed to be? Ooh, fresh rabbit cooked. Moldy rabbit cooked. Moldy venison cooked. What the, what the, what? What a weird container. That's an odd one, chat. One of these was good to eat. Fresh rabbit. It was next to the corpse? Okay, I'll keep looking. Okay, no corpse. Got a whetstone, though. Unless the corpse is nearby here. Then, uh, give me a minute. That's where you left the meat. Yeah, <laughs> we left the pile of meat in the crate. What the heck was up with that? Twenty-eight until ready. I think we can pull an hour of sleep off without it burning. The moose hide. Yeah, we still have it. We still have it. Can't drop it. I'm going to spool up some starts here and see if I can confirm again. All right. So yeah, maybe it was a one-off glitch, or maybe it's something that's just like super rare. Since we have this good meat to eat, let's not risk the moldy rabbit stuff. All right, it appears we didn't, we didn't win. We got three hours. Yeah, let's go three hours. Oh, never mind. We need some fuel. <laughs> throw them aside to scare the wolves. Too heavy to throw, I think. Too heavy to throw. Do the Aurora. Oh, there might be a corpse out that way. We're behind, I guess. Is the other spot? Go over here. Yeah, freshly cooked meat versus old moldy. Ooh, the choices are tough. I know there's a cave over there. Go sleep there if we wanted. Oh, my tummy's grumbling. Two hours, 28 minutes. Let's get a couple hours. Why not? I might take a quick break and just get a snack chat. Not a long stream today. I got some errands I have to run this afternoon, but I'll, uh, I'll go get a snack and then we'll 
my tummy's grumbling, and then we'll figure out what to do with this situation. Time for beans? Nah, I'm just gonna get a protein shake. I'm too lazy for a midday full-on bean smoothie. Too much prep work, so I just take a scoop of powder, and then I'm good. All right, I'll be back in like three minutes, chat. Stick around, okay? We'll play some clips, and then uh, we'll get back, survive this aurora. What, what is this? Hold on. Let's continue this in a second. <laughs> That's what we're looking for. Hell yeah. Timberwolf Mountain Vista. Wait, wait, what? So basically the Polaroids can spawn on corpses in these random containers. They can just be like tucked under a backpack. Uh, but what we want is every Polaroid that there is. <gasps> Totally had it. Oh man. <laughs> I had it. I had it. <laughs> oh, rip my ribs. No. No. My ribs. My ribs. I totally had that shot all aimed and, and going, I thought. Oh no, not again. Oh. Oh, oh you know what happened? I think it was because I was cold. I think it was because I was cold before. One torch got them all. We did it. We did it. The perfectly placed torch. <laughs> what? Why so different map areas have north on different map edges? I'm drawing them out. Oh my god! Oh no! Ah, I wasn't paying attention. Oh my god! I wasn't ah, even looking. Feeling faint. I got. Oh, Astrid. So here we are in Milton Basin at the cave, and if you look to the left of the entrance, you'll notice sort of a crack on the wall. Let's get our lantern out. All you have to do is go into here, and you found secret tree. You can loop, loop around, but you can't go through it. And well inside secret tree, if you are patient, I don't have enough sticks. You can put a snow shelter right here, followed by a fire right here. It's pretty neat. Pretty dang cool. I don't know if this is going to work. I drank two coffees, so I'm hoping the coffees save the day. Oh, did you guys see? I caught a glimpse. It looked like I wasn't fully exhausted. Okay, take a clip. Are you serious? Oh yeah, you're gonna run into my cave with me? Ah! Oh god. Oh no! Oh god! Oh, not like this! <laughs> no! I know, folks. Oh. oh, not like this! Oh, there he is. I'm like, am I blind? Oh no! Wrong buttons once! Oh my god! What? Why? Why? What? It just happened. <laughs> I was clicking the button. I literally clicked shoot player like eight times. <laughs> oh my god. Was I crouching? Oh. This is impossible. Oh, you guys are so close. Oh no, I spelled it wrong. Oh god, I'm so dumb. Oh my god, I'm sorry. I'm sorry.
Forage. Not forge. Oh god. I read it wrong. I read it wrong. <laughs> Frick. Oh god. Forage. How would I even draw that though? Seriously. This game? Here we go. We're fighting Fluffy. It's now or never. It's happening. That's dim to good use. There, there, there. Let's do this! Oh no! Oh no! Oh my god, I ran out of the wires! <laughs> Just like this, um, if I were to put this T here... Oh no! Frick! What just happened? Did I hit the wolf or the rabbit? I need that bear to poke his head up over that hill. Oh, there he is. What? Oh, no! Oh, my God! Oh, no, we're dead! <laughs> he didn't even stand up, chat! He didn't even stand up! Well, we should have stimmed, chat. We definitely should have stimmed. Ah, he's not coming for me, is he? Oh, shoot! We didn't load our flare gun! <laughs> Whoops. Alright, cheers. Thanks for waiting. Oh, that summer is so sweet. Thank you for... Look kindness, you're awesome. All right, chat, what are we doing? Oh, right, we're in an Aurora. I guess we could go to the cave that's like past uh, the area here, but I don't know if there's any wolves over there. Do we want to risk the run? Aurora, Aurora wolf drama. I guess we could like walk around and pick up some sticks back here. Probably safe, right? If a wolf comes at me, then we'll just shoot it. Thanks, Trizo. Appreciate the welcome. Yeah, there's a memento cache here, but we don't have the note for it. Alright, let's have a look around. Maybe there is a uh, wolf, maybe there isn't. That's the corpse I wanted to check. Or is that a wolf corpse? I can't remember now. Nope, it's Buddy. No stim. Caves over that way, I'm pretty sure. Let's go back and juice the fire up a bit and then just hang out until the horse over. If only we had the transponder, then we could go find some caches. How much fun we would have. Lots of sticks back here, definitely. And we're still feeling so warm. You know, once day 50 hits, maybe not so much, but right now, we're feeling like minus 7, plus, plus 26 with the wind chill bonus. So yeah, we're, we're set. three hours and then maybe we just roar ends we walk out of here. Okay, the roar has ended. 
Let's go ahead and uh, maybe make drop any of this gear. make a couple teats. Grab some torches. Inside. I haven't dropped it yet. We still have it. We only ever drop it when we're like inside. Because <clears throat> when you're outside, it doesn't cure. But thank you. Appreciate the uh, <laughs> reminders. I need it. I do need it. All right, let's get out of here. So we're going to. Where are we going? Where are we going? Farmhouse? I don't think we have anything we left there that we need. We can check our notes though. Uh, where are our notes? Mm, 12 guts and moose meat at secluded. No, what's that place called? Stone. Stone shelf cave. Um, lots of saplings in mine. Bear. Bear hide at miners. Okay. And then what do we have for Pleasant Valley notes? Mystic cave has two rabbit hide, two guts. Deer hide at Burnt Ridge cave. Fuel clothes stuff at Preview Farmhouse. Fuel at Barn. Okay, that's fine. Let's leave. Nothing that I actually care about. Don't forget the moldy rabbit. Yeah, I'm not too keen on the moldy rabbit, to be honest. Not too keen on that stuff. Even though we don't need it, let's go and get a little buff to us here. Nice and warm on this walk. We haven't looted Signal Hill, so we might as well go towards Signal Hill. And then we can leave. Yeah, that makes sense. And we could always go Winding River, Ravine, go through uh, Carter Dam. Lower Carter Dam hasn't been looted yet. Not that there's anything we'll need there. Carter Dam. <laughs> We've already been through there and we got some stuff, but otherwise it's not really not really important. Can we just walk down here? Why not? This is the river, right? I think. Hopefully. We're down it now. This is this should be the lowest elevation. And there might be a bear on the river, but we'll figure that out. Cross that bridge when we come to it. Tails went on. We only have 70. Wind chill? Yeah, wind chill on this side. There we go. Movement speed bonus. Okay. Alright. All we need to do is get. Uh, Get Astro to Coastal Highway, then we can do some more beach combing. That's really what this is all about. I want to see what kind of treasure we can find there. Fires start level three. We haven't really been making many fires. It's just we don't get really cold. Wait, isn't there a bunker? Oh, that was the story bunker. Never mind. <clears throat> story bunker was in this area. I think I don't remember. I remember we were like on a rock somewhere, and the bear was giving us uh, a scare during the aurora.
Oh, T ran out. Should have known. Valley. Oh, it's morning now. Yeah, I was gonna say it's gonna be the coldest time of day for sure. Hey, Vi, good to see you. Yeah, somewhere. The bunkers are kind of hard to find and they put them in like weird spots that are a little bit out of the way, which is I guess how they always used to do it. But Vi, good to see you. Welcome on in. Hope you're well. Hope you're having a lovely Thursday. Yeah, we might as well loot Signal Hill. I don't think we looted Signal Hill. Pretty sure we left it. Maybe Combat Pants there. That's the only thing we need right now, really. Thanks, Mycroft, for the shout. Appreciate Mycroft. And bye, I hope you're doing well. Oh, there's the bear. All right, he's heading in the other direction. Who cares? Let's just let him be. Again, we're just wasting time if we shoot at him. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I'm trying to hustle. But we'll probably just uh, honestly like park ourselves at Signal Hill and sleep there the night. Oh, that's so cute. Bye. That's lovely. I like the colors too. Perfect. Perfect match for your name. so cold. Yeah, we just got cold. We'll be fine. Let's check this car though. I want to see if the note's not there. It shouldn't be. All the notes have been really like glitched out, but this one I think doesn't spawn anymore for Interloper. Regardless, but again, who knows? The notes seem to be all over the place. Cars way down here. Way down here. Okay. I don't want to go to keepers. I was thinking about it for the flare gun, but at the end of the day, we don't even have shells. So what's the point? Long curve. Yeah. I need a car to make it to the car. Yeah, it's way down here. I feel like I thought it was like at that light pole over there. Who knows, maybe it's warm and we can sleep inside the car. Mirabel. Aw, oh, that's a great name. Feels like minus six. We could almost sleep in here. Oh well. We could like drop a torch and warm up, but let's just go for it. Uh, the walk back to signal. Should be too it shouldn't be too bad, it's just up the hill here. It's a white plum variety. Oh, I didn't know that. You learn something new every day. Yeah, we're just leaving resources where they are at this point. We have so much stuff collected and stockpiled. We just don't need to. Like, it maybe makes sense to grab a bunch of saplings and drop them maybe at the farmhouse. But I'm out of here. White and sweet, there you go. It's cute. Ooh. 
Well, we knew we'd get stuck in something. It was an Aurora, at least it wasn't a blizzard. So I'm not I'm probably not gonna even stop at uh, Signal Hill other than to warm up. I don't wanna call the blizzard on upon us. Alright, cheers chat, I got my lunchtime smoothie. Curiosity coming in with that 19 month sub. Hey, Wands. Hey, chat. Curio Barrel. Curio He Bear. Thank you, Curio. Appreciate you. Hope you're doing well. Thanks for the 19 months. Wow. That's a long time. Oh, my goodness. Hope you're doing well. Thank you for joining and uh, thank you again for the reset. It's awesome. We're just in Pleasant Valley after having gone through the whole summit and uh, Ash Canyon adventure. That's why I picked the name Lulu. Lulu's uh, Black Mage from FFX. Oh, interesting. Thanks again, Carrie. Appreciate appreciate your support. No more acorn trees. There's that shout. Thank you, Mycroft. That's right, folks. Carrie does a lot of TLD, fun TLD streams, clever, uh, clever, entertaining stuff. Go check it out. It's always a good time over there. And uh, yeah, it's going well. I have a week off work, so I've been streaming my little heart out this week, playing the new content. We got through the uh, Signal Void Tale on a Stalker custom, and then uh, now we're just doing a vanilla Loper run to sort of get used to the beachcombing and uh, the acorns, all that stuff. Beachcombing is really neat. So for those who haven't heard, there's been a big, big overhaul to the beachcombing. So now you've got a lot of interesting late game options. All right, we'll get a flare in here and hopefully, hopefully we get some combat pants. No problem. I can, I can send kind words out all the time. That's easy. <laughs> Appreciate the support. Thank you again. Oh, there's the flare right there. I think there's a gu uh, guaranteed flare in this room. It just is in three different spots. He did some beachcombing. Yeah, carcasses, corpses, saplings. Uh, we even found like a small boat. Uh, rabbit. A rabbit was on the beach. Uh, I found a good jacket. Wool toques. There's so much stuff. Someone even reported finding a flare. Someone else found uh, ooh, coffee. Not coffee. Someone found a, a, a pack of matches in a container. No combat pants? What? Seriously? It's not fair. Hope nobody needs this oh, anymore. Okay. Second Mackinac. Interesting. 19-7 versus 19-7. Okay. I'll take it. Let's get like, uh, let's get a few hours of sleep. Oh, we've earned it. We'll drink like a birch tea. Take a two hour nap. No combat pants? Yeah, well, because we've got a Mackinac. Is that common? Or, <laughs> you know, the, the jeans are the only thing we really need to upgrade. We do have deer carcasses to do the pants, though. So we will. We'll do that eventually. Let's go for, like, four hours. And then we'll be, you know, healed up a bit. Hey, Olden, good to have you. Thank you for joining. Appreciate you. But yeah, the fact that you can get late game clothing that's in good condition on uh, Beachcoming is pretty crazy. Wow, look at this weather. Let's get out of here. 43 kilos. Try to shed some weight. Oh, we only have 80 cattails. Goodness. Whatever were we to do. I've never found a Mac there. Yeah, I've been finding the Mackinac spawns at the farmhouse under the bed upstairs. Uh, I found it like three times there now. 
So lots more Mackinaws out in the world. Not just the Hush River one, it seems. Don't drink a herbal tea, Astrid. What are you doing? All right, I can't really shed any more weight. Oh, look at this chat. Whoa, the arrow. That was weird. Cool. It's like if we had the stuff, we could technically get things prepared in advance of getting the transmitter. I hear the bear like right here. Who's coming at me, chat? What was this supposed to do? When did you start playing Project Winter? Yeah, <laughs> this is the newest TLD um, update. We've got the uh, transmitter where you get this handheld radio that activates string auroras, and you can use it to basically find these hidden hidden treasures and bunkers. It's pretty cool. Okay, we might as well grab the hide. Might as well. I'd feel guilty not taking it. Yeah, poison arrow. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now we have options. We can go to Winding River, Carter Dam, Ravine, or we can just go straight coastal. I think that's the play. Let's just walk our way to Coastal Highway. Just take the road. Take a while, but we'll get there when we get there. It's a warm day, so... Uh, so slid like the stuff is there, but you can't activate the quest to actually turn them on because you can't pick up the radio on interloper So well, you can find wires batteries uses on loper you can't Find the transmitter radio to activate the quest to be able to even turn on the stuff to find the caches So interloper the stuff's there. It's just inaccessible Because the uh, quest activation isn't isn't there But we were talking about this, if you do the uh, BRA based on resource allocation to medium on any custom setting, you can you can get the trans transmitter to activate. And to Hinterland has stated that they're looking into the interloper situation, so you never know, maybe we get lucky. Yeah, well then they've... They recently commented, I think like yesterday, that they're going to look into it and try to, um, sure, you know, figure something out that everyone's happy with. I love Loper, I'd love to play through the story. Yeah, the thing too is like even if they let us do it on Loper but nerfed all the loot into the into the ground, it'd still be fun. Still to have like a side quest to do during Aurora's is really neat. Like even if the caches or the bunkers had like, you know, next to nothing but cloth or leather or like you know just junk, I wouldn't I wouldn't care, it'd still be fun to do. So I feel like maybe with some rebalancing of the loot, they could still add it in Loper. Lokers like to make their own tails. Yeah, a t enable tail option for sure, yeah. Oh, we're gonna go to Pensive Pond. There will probably be a moose there that we'll probably shoot at. And then we'll have two satchels, or two, uh, two moose hides. We can do bear jacket. <laughs> moose coat. No, I think we want the flight jacket. Oh, excuse me, chat. I feel like with the current beach coping, trying to regulate loot feels like it doesn't even matter. Doesn't even make a difference. Yeah. Hey, 
how many sticks. I want Aurora stats. I want how many Auroras, how many Aurora kills. I think that'd be fun, especially now that we have more Aurora action. Do we even go to pensive? Let's just let's just stick to the road chat. We're fine. Like we can stop and have a fire and warm up. But we really don't need to. Yeah, it's happening. Uh oh, here we go, chat. Laceration. That means we're fine, right? Clothing is good. Bedroll's good. I'll take it. I'll take it. Why does the CRA require us to file taxes when they already have the information required? Yeah, well, some countries do it that way. Actually, you know what, let's just make a fire here and warm up. We can like drink a birch tea and carry on. That's different? No, that happens. That mechanic happens where you kill the wolf. Um, it just means that the wolf was like critically low and it dies in the struggle. Yeah, some countries I think do it that way. They auto, they auto file for you or whatever with the information. Thanks for lurking, I Appreciate you. As always. Ooh, my eyes are itchy today. I wonder if I have allergies popping off now that spring's here. Come on, little fire. Yeah, we're just gonna quickly warm up. I don't even know if we have fuel. Like maybe we have coal. Oh, lucky day. Just coal. Yikes. Okay. Those stats cause memory overflow. Yeah, you found a million sticks. <laughs> found all of them. Congrats. Drink up, get out of here. I will drink a coffee and a tea, and we're gonna be happy. Drop any of this gear. Perfect. We're not even. Yeah, we're cold. Never mind. You are declaring that you owe them. I guess, yeah, it's like... <laughs> Does this information look right to you? Because it's right. <laughs> it better be. <laughs> yeah, we don't usually go this route. We're like on the top of the map. I think we'll get horse down though, near the barn, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, there's a picnic area. Yeah, we're right near Pensive. <laughs> they owe me. Wow, that will be nice change maybe. I've always owed, owed taxes as a business owner before. Maybe this year they'll, they'll pay me some taxes.
We're going so fast. Crampons. Yeah, that's a little too complicated for my brain. <laughs> All right, we see the road, so we know we're going the right way. to do some more beachcombing. Let's go for it. Why not? Get some health back. We have a lot of birch teas. And there's always the ravine or birch forest to loot if we wanted. And there's no bear over here. We've uh, already, you know, looked in this cave. No bones. So there's a couple wolves past this bridge, but that's it. So let's get into coastal. We're getting there. Beachcombing, air coats. Yeah, we've already been through here once. Uh, I think we have stuff in the farm or the uh, community center, but it's not a big deal. Nothing we won't miss. Usually there's a wolf right near here. No, nope, not today, I guess. Hey, Stomp, welcome in. Great to see you. Hope you're well. Thanks again for saving my butt the other day. Folks, if you didn't, didn't see, uh, we almost goaded our signal void file off of a cliff like 10 minutes from the end of the story. Kind of embarrassing, but Stomp saved, saved my butt. <laughs> Appreciate you. No bear, but there's still wolves over here, so let's just not run in and alert them to our presence. Well, there's one. He's kind of in the way, so let's just go take him out. Or die trying. Maybe he doesn't even know we exist. No, he's not even, he doesn't even see us. It's gone. Easy. Why waste the bow? Yeah, he's walking the other way. Easy. <laughs> All right, we're almost out of here. No drama. We got in and out of Pleasant Valley. We just had to wait for like a little tiny Aurora. No big deal. I'm looking forward to dropping this moose hide. And then maybe we can maintain the 35 kilo carry capacity. I doubt it, but we can, we can try. Wow, that went well. No drama, summit, ash, pleasant. Easy. 
I think the next step will be uh, we'll just hang out in Coastal for a while and then maybe we'll go to Bleak Inlet and check on the beach coming there and see what the deal is. Uh, also, there is a bunker in Bleak Inlet, I think, that we want to find. Shenanigans. Always shenanigans. I think we have like an uh, insane amount of coal that we've stockpiled here. Diablo! Oh right, that was just like a brief event. It wasn't a long-term thing, was it? match because we don't have any lamp oil basically. Oh goodness, look at all this coal and we'll probably get another new drop on the way through. Might as well pick it all up. Cool. Well, we'll just grab what we can and drop it at the door like we always do. Maybe not. Maybe uh, we weren't here that long ago. Missed about 20 minutes, yeah. Well, like I said, Dark, we were talking about uh, demonologists, so if you're interested, maybe we can, we can get into that tomorrow. Uh, could be fun. Apparently it's pretty spooky. It's uh, Unreal 5, so the assets are, like, compared to Phasmo, pretty, pretty intense. Works when brain yellow, leave me feeling brain dead at night. I can hear you, I hear you there, Dark. It's like me, I finish my shift and I'm like, I, I need to be not at the desk anymore and I want to just, like, not think. I just veg out. I get a meal in me and then I do nothing. <laughs> but hopefully work, uh... Doesn't kick your butt too hard. Yeah, we might as well haul this hide all the way. There's no reason to stop now. We'll get it all the way to uh, Quonset, and then maybe at Quonset we'll try to find something to eat. What do you do? I'm a uh, adjudicator. I work for the provincial government. But it's basically a work from home job at a desk. Doing a lot of paperwork. My chair broke. Oh no! Uh, do you have the chance of a stand desk by any chance? Because, like, standing desk could be okay, but having a good chair is important. That's a big thing. Because, you know, if you're sitting in a chair eight hours a day, you want to have one that's comfy and good support. Like, I used to have a decent chair, but the problem was is it let me sit, like, slouch. Um, and I would, like, cross my legs and sit cross-legged, and that's not good. Sounds like it's from StarCraft. <laughs> yeah, it's a funny word, adjudicator. But yeah, the good chair is important. And this chair I'm in now, it kind of forces me to sit with decent posture. Arbiter. Adjudicator, arbiter. Yeah, close. Solaris, yeah. All right, we drop and drop and wait. Is this a blizzard? No way. Well, we could just sleep here tonight. Why not? We got a giant pile of coal. Oh my goodness. Wow. Yeah, let's just sleep here. Why not? And we'll drop the moose hide, right? The bear hide. There we go. Let's eat like 20 cattails. Because that's 
We have too many cattails. Yeah, I'll drop the drop the hides, get them Kieran. Get up and move more. Yeah, that's important. Like I try to take micro breaks. Some sometimes I just get up from my desk and like fill my water up even though I don't need to. Or like just do a little quick stretch. Does make a difference. I have a standing desk and I don't use it. I should, but I don't. You also like to come home and veg out? Yeah. Doesn't really matter what you do. It's just nice to relax at the end of a work day for sure. All right, we're sleeping. Pick up the hides and carry on down the hill. Typical Mediterranean diet, yeah. And now it's like the middle of the night, oof. Where's the exit? Let me out of here. There we go, found it. The doctor? No, just one of them. Wrong bow. Always pull the wrong bow first, don't we? Okay, let's go this way and maybe we get a deer. The deer that we shot on the way through that disappeared on us. Maybe we get another chance at it. Good chance at wolves on this path. Like, there's one that's, like, sneakily hiding behind those trees, usually. And it, like, comes out out of nowhere at ya. I'm hopeful that we get the, um, what's it called? The moose <laughs> at, the, at the Quonset hut. That way we can have, like, a nice steady food source while we craft our pear. Yeah, this weather's nasty. steady. We'll get there when we get there. And I doubt the bears respawn that we killed at Kwanzaa. It's not been two weeks yet. Or maybe it has. It's probably close. push. Might as well. The trailer's not that far. Oh, there's a deer. Maybe we get the deer. Or try. This happened last time we lost it, didn't we? one second too too long chat brutal and that arrow it's probably long gone isn't it oh no we went too far can we get back up Not like this. Well, where's the arrow for starters? Just gone, I guess. Oof. Well, rip. Just restart, yeah. <laughs> Just quit out. Just start over. It's embarrassing. Yeah, this is a note mode, fortunately. Oof. 
Yeah, I paused just for a second to re readjust my aim to get the headshot. Didn't work. Hey, Red, good to see you. Welcome. We're doing good. We're just finishing the Summit Adventure, Summit Ash Canyon. And now we're heading back to Coastal Highway. Maybe we do some crafting, or maybe we just get right back into the beachcombing. It's fine. We can always go back and look for that arrow during the light of day. Might be a bit better. Our lamp's almost out anyways. Yeah, let's go, uh... Let's go actually wait a little bit in the trailer, so when we head down the hill, if there's a moose, we can see what we're doing. Lots of acorns up here, but I think we harvested them all already. Okay, let's get like a few hours of sleep. Vanilla interloper, folks. You got it. We're probably on about day 30. We just finished the Ash Canyon Adventure Summit. Got our moose satchel ready to cure. <laughs> yeah, we got a ways to go still, but we're having fun. That's what this one's all about. All right, we should be able to see now. Oh, hopefully we have a chance at a moose. That weather sounds nasty. We might not have anything. It might be a blizzard. Yep. Great. Perfect. Just saying moose increases my heart rate. Oh yeah. Moose hunts are pretty intense. Storm better for beachcombing? Yes, they are. It means you get a new uh, you get a new swan of beachcombing items. So after the blizzard, you go check the beachcombing, and we'll do that. We'll just drop off our hides and stuff here. And I'd honestly love to like hunt a deer. Moose would be way better though. Ghost town site. All right, we made it. Nice. Okay, first things first, we make our pants. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. Ninety-seven percent. <gasps> Whoa, chat. Ninety-eight, ninety-seven. The timing was impeccable. Holy, it's crazy. Okay, let's just make those deer pants. Yeah, new coat as well soon, but I want the pants because we're rocking jeans, so this will be an upgrade for me. Then maybe we can go outside and check on that moose again. Or we just go beachcomb. I could eat a horse. Eight, seven? How many? How long are these pants? Dang, 12 and a half hours, okay. It's longer than I thought, honestly. Sounds like the, um, yeah, 12 and a half hours is a lot. Thanks, Mycroft. 
I guess I was thinking rabbit gear is like three, three and a half, five hours. All right, let's drop some uh, equipment off here. Go hunting or beachcombing maybe. Not the mitts, Astrid, come on. Pretty, pretty light and lethal. Let's go get a. Let's go get some food. <laughs> Whether it's a moose, we'll find out soon. All right, no moose. What's with this weather? Let's do a little bit more crafting, and then maybe we get something a bit nicer. Sounds good. Let's go. I'll take the pants with me. We're not that encumbered. Nine arrows. That should do it. Still no moose. It's fine. We'll go uh, check on everything else that's around. Maybe we get a uh, deer on the ice. Deer over this way, usually. That or we start beachcombing for uh, fish. Still going. See if there's any deer on the ice. Is this even worth our time? That's a wolf. It's gonna be another wild goose chase, isn't it? Hey, thanks for following. Go low, welcome in. Should we just go beachcomb chat? Maybe we'll find some fish. <laughs> just eat some fish tonight. Let's go beachcomb behind Miss Throat all the way to Jackrabbit, and then we'll loop back around and finish the pants, or we finish them at uh, Fish Camp. It works. Beach coming, that's why we're here. <laughs> Careful, there's wolves in the area. Hey, why are we cold? Oh, frostbite risk. Astrid, put your gloves on. That's a big deal. I accidentally put them in the uh, drawer and didn't re-equip them. All right, Beachcomb, show me what you got. 
the best beachcomb stuff was behind Jackrabbit. Oh, I see something already. Was that a pallet? Beachcombing chat. It's been fully rehauled, uh, re overhauled, if you haven't uh, seen it yet. We got some interesting stuff washing up on the shores of Great Bear, including pallets. That's where we harvested the bear, I think. What I'm really hoping for is a boat. I want to find a big boat like they have in the trailer. If we're warming up, feels like two degrees. Nice. That's okay. Okay, beachcomb weather. Yeah, this is coastal highway for you. There's some deer, so... Keep that in mind in between misanthrope and log sort. Here's a fish. Let's just go cook this up right away. Ruins. Do we risk it? We'll cook up to 50%. I know. I didn't want to. It takes so long. If we eat this thing and then have to go sleep for 10 hours, it sucks, but we'll do it. <laughs> we'll do it. Come on, little fire. Perfect. Ruin zero percent. Fifty percent. Let's try it. Ooh, Iron Gut Astrid for the win. Nice work. No, we were taking, we're not adding. That was good. That's kind of what we wanted. Food. Let's carry back, carry back on. Oh, is this another fish? If it is, we'll go quite quick. It is indeed. Another ruined coho. Let's do it. Embers. Do you think we'll go two for two? Oh, of course, by the time we put the torch away. Oh, we can fill up our lamp, though. Iron Gut Astrid. <laughs> nice work, hey, Serene, good to see you. Welcome on in. All right, full belly. Now all we need to do is find like some really cool stuff. Captain Serene is getting the crew together, chat. You know you wants to. Excuse me, the hiccups. Oh my goodness. All right, chat, beachcomb. Uh, last three times, two times we were here, we found pills right in this spot. I'm wondering if, oh, carcass, I'm wondering if you can get antibiotics or if it's just, uh, check it out, beef jerky. 68% beef jerky. Maple sapling. Wool toque. Cured rabbit pelt. What the what? Another maple. A deer carcass. Like, what is this? This is crazy, chat. 
This is crazy. Cured leather, yeah. You know, boots. Ah, uh, that was from last time. But there's like all sorts of goodies washing up on the shore these days, chat. Be careful though, if you fall in it's instant hypothermia. So they kind of messed us, messed us up with that one. The Long Beach. Hey Vash, where I live there is a beach called Long Beach. Up in Tofino. It's very popular. It's just a big long beach on the west coast, but it's really, uh, it's really nice. Good, good surfing. Like I said, I want a boat. I want a boat. Hey Val, welcome in. Good to see you. Looks like we got a briefcase up ahead. Suitcase. This will come in handy. Ragged hoodie. Again, like being able to find late game clothing. It's neat. Very interesting. Oh, I thought that was a wolf. It's literally a chest. We're doing the uh, beachcomb, uh, beachcomb coastal route. And then we'll finish our crafting and uh, maybe head towards Desolation Point for another run. Another pair of shoes. Sport vest, again in decent shape, not wet. Beach combing, yeah, we uh, started the stream in the summit. So we did the summit, Ash Canyon, and then we've just made it back here. And the cool part about this is you don't have to clear the beachcomb spawns to get the reloot. Like, all you have to do is wait for a blizzard and then everything refreshes. Yeah, the great stuff is new and great. <laughs> the new stuff is great. Sorry, I can't read or speak. But we'll do a lap to the end and then go fish camp, finish our pants off. No boat. We might have to go to Desolation Point or something. Okay, okay. Yes, sir. That scared me. <laughs> okay. I love the b b boink noise. Beat snow if hypothermia wouldn't Planks, I think. Another maple, my goodness, chat. Wait, was that a cured maple? No, it wasn't. It must have been green. Three. We found three maples on this beach. Wait. 3% torch. Yeah, okay, we don't care about that. That's that's not important. Four maples on this one run. We got the bass chat. What we'll do is we'll just take that to coastal fish camp and leave it for tomorrow. I think that's everything. Let's head back to base. Boing, yeah. You struck outside to some kind of bulk m bark mulch. So loud. Oh no. Yell if you need anything. No worries, Rox. I'm I'm not actually gonna be on much longer. I've gotta go uh, do some errands this afternoon. And then tomorrow I'll be doing the garden. But chat, you should see me again on Saturday. So uh, stay tuned for more. I don't know, we might jump back into this one. Maybe I'll go back to Nope. Maybe we'll try something new. We'll see, I haven't decided yet. Oh, we're out of water, of course. Well, what we'll do is we'll get to fish camp and then maybe cook some water. Tell that truck to keep it down. Fish and chips, that'd be nice. Where's the bear, too? That's the other thing we have to think about. I'd rather not get eaten by a bear right now. People trying to watch Twitch, I know, eh? 
Well, that used to be me, and I was like, hey, if it's between 7 a.m. and 7 p.m., I'm entitled to make noise. <laughs> oh, with a dab. Oh, help. <laughs> it's still loud. Cringe me. Oh, I can do it. I can do it. There we go, we did it. We did it. Hey fish, good to see you. Welcome in. Happy Easter. Yeah, everyone uh, hopefully has a little holiday maybe this weekend. Either way, um, thanks Fish for coming by, hope you're well. Okay, I gotta listen now, there could be a bear here. Ready to <gasps> oh my goodness. Or a wolf. Sneak attack wolf. Gee whiz. Came out of nowhere, chat. Okay, the bear's next. Obviously the bear's coming out of nowhere next at me. The sun is setting. A lot colder sun. Okay, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if there's a bear, but I'm I'm sitting here. Bear scare. <laughs> I we used to have a bear scare redeem, but I canceled it. Come on, little fire. Okay. Let's just cook this fish. Wait, it's not okay, no, it's ruined, yeah. That's a good one. We need water too, don't we? Hour and four. Let's go get a little extra here. Maybe we can grab a to reclaimed. Oh, easy. Ten minutes later. Did you get your fridge? Yes. Fridge fridge was acquired. Not me, but rocks. Fifty minutes, twenty-seven until melted. Forty. Okay. That guy who drank his own pee doesn't seem so crazy right now. See if we get the food poisoning. We didn't. Nice. Okay, do we finish the pants? Nah, we can always do that tomorrow. Or we could do it now. Wait, how much time is left on them? I, I don't. I don't know how. How to tell? <laughs> Dear pants, three hours left. Okay, let's like. Do this by the torch, torch fire, maybe. This is a great idea. Still a great idea, chat. Uh, the cold is making my head feel sick. This is fine. Now we sleep and then we can just finish them in the morning. Oh, we should drop all those maples and stuff. Four maples we just found beach coming. Desolated look, yeah. I didn't think we get that cold that fast. <laughs> it's fine, we got nothing better to do. We'll sleep, make the pants, and then uh I don't know, we'll see. I need to shoot a deer, I think. We need to bring some venison back home.
Come on. Minus 20, what? <laughs> Dang it. I mean, we could put a fire right here. Let's just do that. Might blow out, but I think this is to be able to no shelter for the three hours that we have left. No way. <laughs> Vacation's been good. Yeah, it's been nice. I'll be taking a morrow off stream and I, probably, I gotta go to my garden and do some work there. But other than that, I'm gonna just chill. Uh, today I'll do a shorter stream and I just have some junk to take care of this afternoon. But yeah, I've been enjoying the downtime. You know, even though I've been streaming, it's still nice just to take take that time away from work to chill. Okay, let's boil water since we need it. And then I think we can reach the table here while still being warm. Maybe? Yeah, we're, we're plus two triangle here. Nice. Yeah, this is good. As long as the fire doesn't blow out. It seems like fairly protected. Alright, let's finish this. Deer pants, 30 minutes later. Finally, we're upgrading from the oh, blizzard. Wow, the fire. Look at this, chat. This is not bad at all. Very good. Before you forget. There we go, now we're talking 20 plus 8. No jacket yet. Jacket's next step. We have the chance at two bear coats or a bear bedroll if we want it. Hopefully this isn't risky. We ate it last night. All right, I'm gonna call it here. I think we're in a good spot. We can carry this file on. Wait, you won't get a save point? Okay, let's sleep an hour and <laughs> get a save point. I thought you get a save when you enter a building. I didn't see it though. But that's gonna be it today. Sorry, early stream, but I gotta go. I gotta go pick up my pants that got altered and then I gotta go run at some other couple errands while the afternoon is still young but thanks for hanging today chat like I said I'll be back Saturday and I don't know what I'm doing I might I might go back to note mode I might do this file again or we might go to the void file and try to get all the bunkers deer skin pants yeah we did it so the pants the outfit now is double wool toque uh, we have combat pants, deer pants, deer boots, rabbit mitts, double Mackinac, thin wool. We got the crampons. We got a satchel curing. So this is like very, very good. Uh, other than the better jacket improvement, this is a very nice, very nice setup. All right, chat, stick around for a moment. Let me see if I can find a lovely streamer to send y'all to. One moment, please. And then uh, I'll be off tomorrow. So hope you'll be okay. Enjoy your Enjoy your day. And then uh, Saturday, we'll see you again. All right, you know what? Uh, let me just make sure here. Good, let's go visit a uh, very tiny burb who is streaming Signal Void. Let's go check it out. Show some love to Burb, another uh, TLD streamer and friend of the community. So let's go. Let's go show some love to Burb and check out what they're up to. Signal Void. Drinking cider. Nice. I like cider. <laughs> I haven't had a cider in a long time though, but that seems to be my drink of choice. All right, folks. I love you all. Thanks for hanging. CJ Summer, Massive Val, Bash Rocks. Thank you, everyone. Have a great day, and I uh, love you all. You're awesome. Take care. Bye.